What up, everybody? Easter. Hello. Easter. It's Easter. <laughs> Pest is first in the chat. Headbug is second. What up, Headbug Inc.? Second in the chat. Advent about gave me a heart attack, but he is just next. N-word tower. No, none of those towers in the chat, guys, okay? <laughs> Woo! Welcome, welcome, everyone. Happy Easter or just happy Sunday. Happy um, Awareness Day. It's uh, here. Let me say it. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be inclusive. Happy International Transgender Day of Visibility. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh there. This is serious. It's very serious business. Happy day. It is a good day. It's a great day. Yeah, it's a day that celebrates eggs. All right. It's a day meant for us. I mean, we love a day that celebrates eggs. That's for sure. So welcome, everybody. It's shout out 50. 50. Is it this Ooh, one? Yeah, no, we're in the one. 50 spot. I forgot about that, dude. <laughs> oh. 50 spot. 50 episodes, people. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for showing up. Happy Easter, folks. Happy Easter. We were supposed to have Assistant Sailor tonight, but guess what? It's Easter. I don't think, I don't think he knew it was Easter. <laughs> 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 Which is fair, because when I was giving him dates and I let him pick what day he wanted to come on, when he picked today, I didn't say like, oh, by the way, it's Easter. Because so I sure? didn't think about it either. <laughs> are you sure you want a big Easter, brother? So we'll have Assistant Sailor on soon. It'll be probably next week or something. Uh, it's He is an agreeable lad. So he'll come on whenever uh, I think we can get him there. So sorry to disappoint, folks. No Assistant Sailor. But you've got two eggs in the building. I'm letting my bare egg show, dude. Ooh, I wasn't brave enough. I didn't have time. I feel it's... almost hotter somehow. Oh, it's, yeah, because it's all that light just shining off your dome, man, and then it makes you sweat. <laughs> I I'm don't like you. it. Yeah, uh. you're gonna you're gonna put a hat on later just to cool off. <laughs> uh. <laughs> bite size Vikes in the chat. What's up, oh, John? Nice to see a bite size <laughs> Vikes. <laughs> Vikings legend Kyle. Oh, Vikes. Does not th oh Danny knows that one like that's Skull <laughs> Vikes let's go baby does not think it's a coincidence that trans visibility is Easter this year I don't know how calendars work either John all right so let's pay no attention to the fact that it's been on March 31st since 2010 and that this is in fact the second Easter that has shared this day it just <laughs> It just so happens that in 2013, not as many people had Twitter, so we didn't have a reason to get pissed off about it for some reason. Well, get those eggs fried in the chat, baby. We'll get pissed off about that later. Okay, we'll save the we'll or save um, the outrage. Okay, <laughs> for later on the deep state. We'll save that for later. Okay. Uh so nice to see you, folks. Nice to see you. Go check out Cosmic Jive here. Oh, please. Appreciate you. I do want to mention before I pull up the opener, because we do have an opener here, but uh, I see in the suggested here, you got Tommy C. Can't Red Dead Part 2. Ugh, I would never watch Tommy C. play Red Dead. But what I really <laughs> was looking at <laughs> is this down here. Uh, did James Somerton actually die? Uh, first off, I think... I think Red Dead is like an old person's game. It's like I feel like old like older men really enjoy Red Dead Redemption specifically. Like I see Jack Black tweeting about it all the time too. And it's like, man, that game is like 10 years old. I mean, how old now? I don't know. Maybe not 10 years old, but it's pretty old now. It and is like, old. People are just getting to it like, "Oh, it's beautiful." I'm like, "Yeah, it's fucking old as shit." Well, see, this is what happens when a game that's 10 years old still looks better than anything on the PS5 because <laughs> all the AAA developers are <laughs> pieces of shit who overwork their poor developers, constant crunch, and then we still pay $70 for a game that's 
in fucking beta by the time it's in our other wait well maybe by the third patch it'll be the game Breach. that you actually paid for you sons <laughs> of bitches Breach, kevin we didn't even prepare for a video game. yeah that's that's what i'm, I'm heated dude that's all just right? off the egg dome right yeah. there that's <laughs> i got it all pent up from all this easter nonsense <laughs> uh but anyways yeah i said james summerton actually died did he actually die I heard he didn't die. Somebody did a wellness check and found <laughs> that the guy is at home or whatever, you know, chilling. Uh, thoughts. <laughs> I just want to play some Red Dead now, damn it. Can we you don't, even wanna, you don't even want to think about James Summerton faking his death, okay? Mm -mm. Now all I've got is Red Dead on the brain, brain okay? I think he definitely wanna... faked it. Can I say that? Is that... <laughs> I, normally, this is when I sit on my fence, but I feel very strongly. Well, that's that what they, that's fake. Yeah, that's what I guess that's what they call it when you say that you're dead and then you're not, right? They call <laughs> that a red dead redemption, right? <laughs> Two, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> James Summerton is kind of like Jesus on Easter, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You think he's dead? You gotta look for him, and <laughs> no, he's just on Patreon. He actually, when they did the wellness check, he actually lives in a cave, and they had to roll the rock out of the front of it to to check on him, <laughs> see if he's still all right back there. <laughs> My Easter decorations are failing. I should have see Danny next time. This this will end up Keemstar style around my head. <sighs> all right. I really need you to do that one of these days. That's what I originally bought that bandana for. That's why you heard me. It took me so long to open that thing because it was fused shut because I bought it for a joke 18 months ago and still hadn't opened them. So yeah. <laughs> we need to do that one day, though. I think that would be great costumes for us. We get like a flat bill and like sharpen our uh, uh, beards, but then like. I'll go with the flat bill and then you can have the bandana because it's sometimes one or the other. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Keemstar, it's like I like that. And now I he accessorizes. <laughs> sometimes it's the bandana. Sometimes it's the flat bill. It's we never might have to go for a never photo egg. shoot here, Danny, because now <laughs> hear me out. Oh, no, I'm I thinking, already know where you're going. <laughs> I'm thinking a Keemstar versus Ethan photo <laughs> shoot. Do we get the cosplay? I the first it. ever clout bout, dude. We're gonna be faux Ethan versus uh discount Keem Star. <laughs> I knew that's what you're gonna say almost immediately. It's like <laughs> the gears started turning in my head too. I was like, you know, I could really pull off a good I mean, I people say I could pull off a good Ethan Klein, you know, and I could you know, I could get his poses down, and then you could get the you know, Keem Star like hard ass look down. And we could have quite the photo shoot, I think. I just can't. I can't get that beard going, man. I wish I had. We might have I to buy I don't it. have the beard stamina. Yeah, I think we have to go buy a fake beard for that. Plugs. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Just get like a chia pet and strap it on. People, I really don't think that you should. Uh... <laughs> <We're an apron. laughs> if you're if you're getting upset at people online and they're bullying you, maybe just log off. Don't threaten the internet with your uh, don't threaten the internet with your potential sewer slide. Mm. Uh, get some score some sympathy points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you get caught plagiarizing everything you've ever done, man, just take the L. You know, <laughs> Jesus, mm. and just go away for a while and come back and you can just make illuminati videos you know you know that is a pretty rough one to get to get caught for though it's like i don't know how long he did youtube or whatever but he see him I mean, he was relatively a you know he was a bigger youtuber i guess you wouldn't call him big but he wasn't a nobody so it's <laughs> funny to like build up such a uh career a fan base there and somebody's like actually you stole all of it and there's really nothing you can do to refute the claim <laughs> that's how i did. feel about, about the movie split yeah 
<laughs> Cam Allen makes a movie about a bald new dude named Kevin who talks in funny voices, and I don't see a fucking dime. All right. I've got so, another <clears throat> I've got another Kevin for you here uh here shortly, but we'll get into that. Okay. I've got some Kevins to ask you about. Oh, another, I the butthole one again. <laughs> another Kevin competing uh for the top spot. There is an update on the butthole one. If you guys don't know, kind of cool Kev. Or cool, or no, I'm thinking of kind of cool Greg. This guy into it. Uh, 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 there goes that patron. <laughs> it's the coolest Kev. That's what it is. The coolest Kev. He did release a new video. Uh, because of the risky nature of his content, I might not be able to pull it up. But if I let's see if I can, I know that for education. He's moved on from Nair, okay? It's way crazier. <laughs> All right, here, I'll just pull up the... Uh, it can't be too harmful here to just pull up the thumbnails here, okay? So uh, He's a scaly manfish. Kevin Leonardo, what have you been up to? Uh, what bottoms need to do after getting bred by Tubbs? Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, what? My hole is so big and wide, and I'm in desperate need of thick filling. Oh, this is not YouTube. I see. Nope. Nope. It's on YouTube, baby. What is that? It, wrong app, sir. This is the wrong <laughs> app. <laughs> That's the coolest Kevin that I've ever met. I have oh, to admit. A boy. Imagine being not as cool as that guy, you know? <laughs> like, eh, it's bull crap. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, but Kevin, I still think you, I do think you're cooler than him. So, uh, we won't dwell on the so-called coolest Kev here. Okay. We're here to celebrate Easter folks. It's Easter. What of it? Well, as you already heard me and Kevin going on and on about, uh, some people have some issues with Easter this year. Um, and Mr. Joe Biden and what he's done to destroy America. Okay, so check wow. this out. Kevin sent me this. I didn't think I I didn't think we would see this footage, but <laughs> brutal. Easter buddy too. <laughs> Damn. Easter buddy too. <laughs> I like the what is disrespect. What is the voiceover on this? Clip? Have you seen the original video? It's like somebody in an Easter bunny suit beating up two people on the street. Well, that I pulled it because I was like, where did this come from? It's <laughs> it's clearly an edit. I was like, where did this come from? Where did the original bunny swinging come from? <laughs> so I did pull it Um, here. Let me uh, let's see here. <laughs> I have never seen that original clip, though. Uh. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where did I put it? Oh, I can't. I wait thought I copied it. Oh, I no. guess I didn't. Technical it's difficulties. A, it's an easy. Uh, it's an easy YouTube search. Uh, you just have to type in like bunny mascot fight, and it's like the first thing that comes up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's Here right. we go. I want to see the seconds. second thing that comes up, though, when you search that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, uh, for bearded men. I mean, that can be today, too, actually. OK, today can be trans visionary acceptance or whatever. We can't fuck. pick a let's pick Easter a and let's pick a be beards. Let's do it on like uh, Passover or something like let's pick a different day that will piss people oh. off when they're like, I don't you love thy neighbor is some bullshit dude not do it on another day not on my day do you, you think bearded freaks and all we do is like you know we barbecue or whatever you know we cook up some lamb or i'm not really big into lamb so i <laughs> maybe smoke some ribs or something i don't know do you think we could uno reverso it and make people mad like since people are saying like oh you're taking my christian christian holiday and you're you know, you're making it gay and trans or whatever. <laughs> could we go? Could we go the other direction? Is there a gay or trans holiday that we could go and commandeer and say it's for the beards 
or whatever. Uh, see, the thing about doing that, though, Danny, if you celebrate a bunch of bearded dudes around a gay holiday, <laughs> you're just going to get a bunch of bearded dudes getting hit on uncomfortably. Uh, so I don't know. It could be a good pickup scene for some people, to be honest. I don't know. You might be on to something. There, maybe they can share uh they they can both book the park on the same weekend you know if they're some some beard uh beard curious men out there i think the balds the beards and the bisexuals can all get along in harmony we're already kind of uh uh persecuted bunches so you know we stick together us balds and beards and bi yeah. well, there <laughs> see there it is yeah we got to go out for some beers together. Beers and brats. <laughs> so check this out. This is where that clip comes from. Uh, the Easter Bunny fucking. I'd never seen this before. A brawl, in Florida, a brawl. In New Jersey. Antoine McDonald is the man in the buddy suit in this viral video from Orlando. <laughs> and police in South Brunswick, New Jersey say they want to talk to him. He's wanted for car burglaries this past <laughs> October. Oh, my God. He failed to appear in court. If, the, or rather in this brawl from Sunday night, McDonald said that he was trying to break up a fight between a man and a woman. So we do not condone Easter Bunny uh, mascots beating up, you know, random folk in the streets just so they don't like get us for uh, physical violence here or something without explaining ourselves. <laughs> this is what <laughs> happens if you don't go back to your bedroom and die in that plane crash. This is what happened. You know that? Oh. Donnie. My buddy oh. takes his job seriously, dude. All right. It's going to be the end of the goddamn universe if Donnie doesn't fix that shit. He <laughs> take it seriously enough. So he had to get whooped. I don't condone it. Yes, sir. But I, I might so. understand it. You know? <laughs> oh, think of the big goodness picture. gracious. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the bunnies are out here fucking causing trouble. The eggs are out here too, causing trouble today because it's Easter and, you know, we got eggs. Okay. Eggs on deck. And uh, Kevin, I don't know if you sent me this or if somebody else in the Discord sent me this, but there's a very egg appropriate uh, clip that I wanted to show everybody. <laughs> Check out this queen, dude. That's about as shiny as mine. That's shinier. This is the new co-host right here. This is third mic, is it not? <laughs> we need to get her get her in the Discord here, okay? Uh, check this out. It's been so hot in Arizona that I think I could potentially cook an egg. Oh my egg god, 114. Oh. <laughs> Friendly fire will not be tolerated. Do I love you, it. Do you think on a hot enough day you could go outside? Oh God! Crack an egg on the head, and and fry it on your own dome. Like, do you think you're capable of uh, frying an egg on that dome of yours? Um, yes, <laughs> I definitely think I could. So we don't have to try it, right? That how is that how it works? <laughs> if I said no, we would have to prove me wrong. Right? I'm gonna get you like one of those cones that they put on dogs, okay? When they're when they when they get fixed <laughs> or whatever, and we're gonna put it on top of your head, and then I'm gonna crack an egg, and we're gonna sit outside in the sun and watch the egg cook on your head while I show you like Hassan Piker empty seat clips or whatever. Because not only are we gonna get a little heat from the you know natural heat from the dome, a little heat from the sun, but then you Kevin starts to get really upset and angry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, and then you like you you start a lemonade stand and you just stick me like fifth in line or something. And so then I, I'm impatiently waiting in this long line while it's hot. And by the time you get to me in line, I'll have scrambled eggs. Oh my god, yeah. Perfect. That that's smart. Yeah. I think I think we finally that's gonna get us to that 500 <laughs> subscriber mark. That's gonna get us a few more patrons. I think that's that's the move, man. So look out for that one. We'll be doing that one right in Pride Month, right? To celebrate <laughs> uh, Bearded Brothers Day. Yep. Uh, we'll be exactly. we'll be at our local Pride Parade, frying eggs on my forehead. <laughs> uh, Shadow wants us to answer the age old question: Who would win in an all out brawl, the furries or the bronies? Um, the furries would win, Whoa, right? Because furries, right? Because what you're doing here, Shadow, and I don't know if you've noticed that you're doing it, but 
it's like it's like inception here right a brownie is a furry right a furry doesn't necessarily have to be a brownie but a brownie is a furry so naturally the furries would outnumber the brownies okay there's oh, just more that? furries because furries can be ponies can be kitties can be i mean i can't i don't know I'm a lot here i need to write some of this down <laughs> um i see i thought to be a brony you just had to be a dude who watched my was it my little pony is that what it's called yeah i remember the bob bob's D-Mac. burgers did a great episode about it um <laughs> So I didn't realize that there was so much crossover because otherwise I was going to pick the furry because there's going to be extra padding. Uh, anytime there's hand to hand combat, that's true. Give me the person wearing more gear. You know, what can I hide in there? Hey, they boom. Exactly. What, <laughs> uh, what can you hide in there? Just imagine what kind of submission move it is to just take one of those stinky, sweaty things off and put it on someone else's head. Like you could suffocate someone just by putting your helmet on them. Uh, I'm going furries, guys. Uh, yeah. Now, if it's a battle royal situation where we've got 30 of each, you know, I don't know. But in a one-on-one fight, I think a furry would win. That's And what if you equipped? What if you equipped your furry suit, you know? Like, what if it's like a bat suit, you know? I could have a utility belt. I could have claws, you know? The fingers could be sharpened. Teeth. Okay, we're coming at you. What does is, what is MAGA have to say? We Now, there's look at that. There's, uh, yeah, but the furry's got the heavy costumes, uh, but but now uh, ban the fake maggot. So I'm not sure what which MAGA fuck? edit is the correct MAGA edit. So, yeah, um, you know, the more likely scenario, Kevin, both MAGA edits aren't MAGA. <laughs> they're bo- oh, I thought you said they're both a real one. I thought that was the, I no. thought they're both a real I feel like it's a safer bet to think, you know, we've got double impersonators in the audience than we do the, uh, the genuine, genuine article, but I I would, that's out to maggot. Yeah. And I would ban one of the fake ones, but unfortunately this is one of the few shows where our mod to non mod ratio is actually pretty good. And just in case shoe nice hops in here, I'm going to leave both accounts. <laughs> so. Right. Exactly. I can't have sh- on Easter. I can't have shoe nice come up in here and being like, well, duh, what is it? Only mods to watch the show. <laughs> yeah. Why is that even a bad thing anyways? Okay. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. That's well. the real one. <laughs> <laughs> moving on folks <laughs> nice to see you maggot uh <laughs> oh goodness gracious who knew that uh i bet you know what actually now the more that i think about it joshua putman's in there somewhere i bet that's i bet one of those is a joshua alt mm. maybe a parking tight he did parking tigers did just leave earlier say conveniently that he had to go do something um, now there's a now there's two MAGA edits in chat. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I haven't seen Poland Spring in a while. You know. Yeah, I mean, I got all we got all kinds of options when it comes to uh, making fake accounts in the chat. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness! Dude. But we appreciate all of you, lurkers, fakers, chatters, shopping hours out there somewhere. <laughs> Happy Easter, Shoppy. Mm, okay. <laughs> I was telling you earlier about the coolest Kev, you know, and I wanted to quickly move on from that one because nobody wants to talk about the coolest Kev, especially with that kind of shit that he's talking about on YouTube. I swear I saw the other day that he like, uh, we didn't scroll any further down the list, but one of them was like burning the hair off my balls and dick with safely with a fucking (laughs) torch or something. (laughs) I mean, it's all, it's all the things. You've got to find innovative ways sometimes to shave your junk right kevin because it just gets boring you know at this point 30 you know plus years <laughs> like i did that <laughs> 30 plus years you know shaving the family jewels it gets a little gets a little you know boring predictable you know i you know 
never been an area in life where I was seeking adventure and action. Danny. If I'm being honest with you, you with their privates that my, well, when it comes, I was adventurous to, with my privates when I was in college. <laughs> well, you know, when it comes to grooming, I will take as oh, few, uh. Uh, as few surprises as possible. To be yeah. Honest. We don't like, we'll, we don't we'll, like we'll, grooming here at the club. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it easy. All right. So yeah, I don't need any, anything crazy unless we get a manscape sponsorship and then i'll say whatever you need me to say to uh you know i think all they really give you is like a free ball raiser i, I hear it's kind of a bad they like deal, you to but i'll still take it i'll still take it i'll take your bad deal manscape Man manscape requires you to create an only fans account so that you can demonstrate the uh the product <laughs> mm, are you willing go. okay are you yeah, willing and able anything for that razor yeah it's the social proofing really <laughs> So anyways, to join the pantheon of Kevins that we've talked about here on the show, uh, here's a good one. Kevin go. Gates. I, uh, have we ever have we ever brought up Kevin Gates? Oh, he had that one song, dude. You know what I'm talking about? I don't. <laughs> exactly. But there no. was one. Hang on. Here, let's do it, Kevin. Let's do oh, it. We have the musical rendition. What is it? Oh, I, I can't remember what it's called. Hang on. Kevin Gates. Well, here I'll pull up the uh, while while you do that. Find me a good Kevin Gates jam. Uh, I will show them this. He's back on tour, folks, uh, <laughs> and he's going viral. I don't know why. I mean, check out, check out this fit, Kev. Maybe I don't know any of his. I, I thought <laughs> I thought I knew one of his songs. Ooh, look at this, man. Woo! Actually, man, I do need to go that. to this side because you got to see. <laughs> uh the socks combo what how <laughs> what are those <laughs> yeah yes what how do you get into those is the question i really had well wow somebody had to like there were two people okay there were two people standing on each side of this pair of pants that he has okay one person standing on one side one assistant standing on the other side they're holding the pants open <laughs> and Ke Kevin has to jump from like a he has to get elevated first. He has to like stand up on the couch or whatever, you know, behind him and then jump into the pants. They also like lube it up a little bit, you know. I don't know what they're using in there, but to fit that motherfucker in that shit, yeah. He's coming out of that like a fucking thing of toothpaste. <laughs> I just like what a what you know back in my day, Danny, when a man wanted to sag his pants, he just bought pants that were too big. Uh, and then they would sag past your waist, you know. In this situation, this dude is wearing capris uh <laughs> that don't, you know, he's got the the high waters, you know, he's wearing uh some youth pants but still sagging them for some reason i cannot um, i've never seen a person look more uncomfortable <laughs> brian says right? kevin gates made his girlfriend's girlfriend <laughs> suck his dog's dick he's a bad man what the fuck what? <laughs> <laughs> i still can't find that one song that was supposed to be uh, uh what was it nope I got nothing, I, man. I'm looking through this guy's essentials playlist. And uh, listen, Apple, you and you I have that, you can different. Take the, dick, the dick thing down. <laughs> no, we're going to leave it up. No. Uh, Apple Music and I have different definitions of the word essential. Okay. And uh, how dare. How dare Kevin Gates have an essentials playlist before Cosmic Jive? All right. At least Spotify has a this is cosmic jive playlist you sons of bitches i bet I spotify I has 14 like, followers i bet spotify has like a the coolest kev playlist where it's just audio versions of him like shaving his balls and his asshole or whatever and that probably has more followers than we do on youtube this is crazy <laughs> I think the, I was thinking the of the audio Little. only version of the coolest Kev's butthole shaving, <laughs> you know, 1 million views on Spotify. Like what the fuck? Someone share a song that they like of Kevin Gates with. Yeah. Us in chat. So we can find one later. We need some help chat. Who, who's a Kevin Gates fan? Any Kevin Gates fans out there? 
Bueller? The song I was thinking of was actually by Wayne Wonder. It wasn't even Kevin Gates. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't even I don't know. even know who that is. Right, dude. I me mean, either. <laughs> I just have these random I blame MySpace, dude. People you join it, you jump on somebody's page and all of a sudden the songs just be randomly playing. Uh Shadow says, Can we come to a point in human evolution to where we all agree agree sagging your pants is gay? Um I, I guess that, how could, it all started. We yeah. can't agree on that, right? Because, yeah. like, it's easier access. Your butt's kind of already naturally showing. I mean, somebody could, you know, presumably just pull up and park. I believe that was <laughs> what the whole original message was meant to be. Uh, I, I saw this <laughs> clip. Did you ever see it? It was a guy who called himself the Booty Warrior, Danny. They did uh, They did an homage to him uh, on warrior? what show was that? Oh, God damn it. The Boondocks, right? I like to call him Chris Handsome. <laughs> okay, okay. I likes you and I wants you. Yeah, that's based <laughs> off a real guy, okay? You can do things the easy way or the hard way. The hard way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a prison marker. Yeah, see, it's what I'm saying. There you go. <laughs> do we have anything else to say about this fit check? Is that American, uh, American Eagle underwear? I mean, that's like, you'd think that rappers would be balling on a higher budget than like american eagle i mean shit i wore that in like high school like that yeah. was like i was cool to wear in high school <laughs> well yeah but i think what really happened danny is those uh it's american eagle pants i don't th i think that's all one piece oh that's uh, not his undies those undies are fake they don't really there's not really underwear in fact actually the jeans themselves are on like they're it's like <laughs> swim trunks there's just mesh underneath it's all one piece you couldn't there's no way there's two pieces of cloth uh in, in there no way it's all one piece what you guys actually didn't notice here was we were showing off some of the best tattoo jobs that you've ever seen now top half you know he went the traditional like prison tattoos black and white you know blah 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 bottom half he got a realistic uh tattooing of ripped jeans and american Eagle. Yeah. that's also <laughs> just a tattoo yeah <laughs> he's naked and we're uh we're now banned off youtube <laughs> i am gonna have to listen to this two phones allegedly sleek tell me what channel in the discord if it is uh if it's show appropriate i may pull it up we'll see is it that is it you used to call me on my cell phone Mm, oh, now you're going to get us another copyright claim. Is it that? that? that is that Kevin very Gates? accurate rendition? Oh, no, that's fucking Trump dancing and uh, and Drake or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, OK. Send me a Kevin Gates music video. Let's go. OK. All right. Well, I'll definitely be watching that. When was Kevin Gates even popular? Was that when we were? I would argue that he isn't. Oh. Never been <laughs> Fair enough. When did two phones right. come out, guys? Answer tell my me. own question. <laughs> Is this a Mandela effect thing? Is he like uh, popular? Because in my, where I came from, it was Kevin Hart was the short, funny guy. that uh, right. said the, Aim high, Willis, or whatever. Remember 40-year-old virgin? <laughs> Wait, what? He was in 40-Year-Old Virgin? Yeah, you don't remember that? He gets in the argument with the bald guy. And he's ah. like, I'm going to need you to get me with that discount on the house. Remember? he's, you know. I don't. God, that's a refresher I, I need to lines, take. And I guess. Know, I can't, can't say it. Man, I haven't watched 40-Year-Old Virgin in such a long time. Yeah, I can't even recall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, he's in there. Good old Kevin Hart. Play two phones. Play Are two we? Phone. Yeah, you've got you want to nuke uh, us off YouTube. I was say we that's why because Sleek sent me one called Devil's Gate featuring Kevin Gates, but I I didn't want to get us nuke, so I didn't play any music videos. So I don't know. How do you want to play it? Here, hold up. Uh we can show some of it. Fuck it. Let's one for two phones. All right, all right. Let's see two phones with Kevin Gates. Okay, does this stand up to our Kevin here? <laughs> um Oh, are we going to get a collab going? <laughs> My daughter going to love this bitch here, he says. <laughs> Happy Easter, Josh. Here, let me, uh, let's fast forward here. I'll, we'll get a little taste of the song. Okay. Uh, 
two phones, ladies and gentlemen, and non binaries. It's Trans Awareness Day. Oh, God, dude. Okay, so he's sipping on the cups. He's got the vodka. He's got the 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 scissor. Uh, typical, a typical like 2014 rap music video. Am I, maybe right, I'm I off got, base there. I got one here. We'll, we'll try this out a little couple seconds. Eight years ago. A couple of seconds of this from uh, from <laughs> Sleek, I think. Oh, is Sleek this like a... Uh, over. This is like a freestyle or something. Maybe this one won't get claimed. Oh. oh. Wait, you can't say that. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Hey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let me lay it out. This is why right? I only is... do instrumentals, guys. You know, perfect Easter Ooh. music. <laughs> <laughs> I do oh, love that. Geez, I am adding dude. that to my playlist later. Don't worry. <laughs> do you have a playlist? He's way too horny. <laughs> do, you, do you have a playlist that's just artists named Kevin? <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> And it starts with that Mortal Kombat music, you know, when they're going up the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just here to take them all down. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So there you go. <laughs> Kevin Gates, folks. Kevin Gates. The other cool Kev. Okay. Um, What do we want to get to here? Got tons of Easter shenanigans to get to. How about, how about we start? Okay. Um. You heard me and Kevin going on about the whole, oh, what? let's go, let's say the name again. Happy International Transgender Day of Visibility. Okay? Oh, fucking Jesus Christ, what a mouthful. Unlike John Cena, I can see you. You are you seen. Won't, you won't catch me, you know, wishing somebody that day very often. <laughs> a happy day of that, of that long day convoluted name because i can't remember what it's called <laughs> it's so they need to shorten it up if it was a little less wordy maybe i'd be like okay yeah it's happy happy trans day <laughs> i'd get that one out a lot more than fucking international visibility fucking blah, whatever the fuck Jeez, yeah make it me. easier come on <laughs> it's already hard enough out here for these folks <laughs> Yeah, it's very difficult for us, okay? Make it easier for us, <laughs> all right? It's supposed uh, to be egg day today anyway, damn it. It's supposed to be egg day today. Um, So, yeah. with this whole outrage on Twitter, it's been a whole thing because I guess uh, Joey B, our buddy, uh, Dark Brandon, he decided to declare today a day for the trans visibility instead of for the Christian Easter holiday, okay? So we're outraged here, and uh, we've got tons of the typical tools, I would say, on Twitter. The typical tools on Twitter Ooh, alliteration. having fits, okay? I couldn't think of a final T, but they're all freaking out, okay? The typical ones. And, they're uh, on what tilt. <laughs> typical... Wait, what was what was the phrase? I, I can't even remember what word Typical I used. Typical Twitter tits are on tilt. <laughs> there we go. Typically, Twitter tits are on tilt, okay? Mm -hmm. And these Twitter tits are definitely on tilt today, okay? We've got first, starting with the one and only uh, representative for the trans community, Caitlyn Jenner here. Uh, Caitlyn says... I am absolutely disgusted that Joe Biden has declared the most holy of holy days, a self-proclaimed devout Catholic, as a transgender day of visibility. Now, Ooh. it's funny. Caitlin got, like, Caitlin knows how to do it. Caitlin gets the pronouns right. Caitlin gets the name of the holiday correct. Very respectful here, okay? Uh, the only thing you should be declaring on this day is he... Is risen. 
You know the only thing I do on this fucking day, okay? I eat a couple fucking Cadbury creams, dude. Mm. Give me a fucking break, okay? Boy. I don't fucking he is risen anybody, okay? I don't fucking get up in the morning and fucking stand at the foot of my bed and fucking pray for how Jesus came out of the fucking cave today. Dude, it's one of two days a year that the devout Catholics have to go to mass, you know. Don't remind them that other people exist outside of their religion on at least these two very special days, Danny. This is so <laughs> much to ask. It is a Christian holiday, by the way. It's not like it's stolen. It's not like it's a pagan fertility holiday. You are you know, a Christian bunnies, now. Bunnies have a way. lot to do with Jesus, okay? And I will have you know that Jesus specifically selected march 31st which was a day that was on the calendar when jesus was around you know, they were <laughs> definitely using our calendars back then too so i don't want to hear any of this you uh, haven't read that chapter in the bible where it says that march 31st is the day of that jesus has risen and it shall not be a day of trans awareness it's actually a uh one of those commandments <laughs> dude commandments are so annoying dude if it weren't for the commandments i probably would be a but it's like, get out of here with that <laughs> you met my neighbor fuck that dude jeez chat chat's got some opinions today <laughs> <laughs> here can you pull us down <laughs> <laughs> so check this out so this guy here hayden clarkin to uh, Caitlyn Jenner's little outrage tweet there, Hayden Clark and quote tweets and says, this you question mark. And it shows Caitlyn Jenner here. Hashtag trans day of visibility. There's no better visibility than with sisters by my side. OK, and you see here, this is from 331, uh, 2017, I think Whoopsie. the year is there, Kevin. 2017. That Wait. is several years ago. You're telling me he didn't just change? I thought he I thought he just changed this shit and we're supposed to be pissed off about it. I thought he just did this, okay? It was yeah, Joe From Biden Santa's. did it specifically to anger the Christians. Okay? And um to aid the Bohemian Grovers. You know, you ever met them? They uh they like owls and uh <laughs> the bohemian grovers <laughs> they do some other weird stuff but we don't have to talk about it like the got like the puppet from the muppets or whatever grover mm -hmm. yes exactly <laughs> yeah but they're german <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness i already thought he was german actually but yeah, good to know yeah, yeah. Uh, so you got caitlin here of course outraged uh the whole caitlin jenner thing really is the uh uh kookiest of them all it's like the it's like the ollie london thing which you talked about ollie london multiple times the trans racial guy and the and the transgender but now not anymore now we hate transgender <laughs> uh ollie london was doing like the same grift that caitlin jenner does where it's like uh i'm going to be the trans person on the right you know and like while i may be trans i'm not silly i'm not gonna change easter <laughs> i'm oh. just gonna i'm just gonna run somebody over outside of my house <laughs> yeah she's she's uh, going for the like i'm one of the good ones you know what i mean you know <laughs> right yeah yeah oj simpson tried that route too and <laughs> worked for him until it didn't uh, you guys you guys know the story <laughs> but yes i was saying uh caitlin gets outraged the quartering gets outraged the quartering gives us a little uh a look at exactly what oh, the white man. house outrage is here um we'll pull that up what are you looking at alex jones would do a better job as president lock I mean, that in i mean i'd vote alex jones today <laughs> sign me up <laughs> Ooh, Leonard Nimoy is mo. Oh, I love that, dude. Are we getting Ooh, ooh getting all, <laughs> all watchmen in here? But right, here we've got the quartering. Okay, so here's this. Look at this. This is the little White House uh blurb, I guess, as it is about the transgender day of visibility. It says, Now therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr. 
uh, President of the United States of America Major. by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution. And the, I mean, does anybody take any of this shit ba -ba, seriously ba -ba, anyway? Ba -ba. Only the losers who <laughs> spend their free time raising money to get other people to vote for them so they can do insider trading and feel important about ruining everyone's lives. Yeah. <laughs> Only these kind of idiots think that's cool. Like, Jesus, save me 17 of those words. <laughs> exactly, Joe. yeah. My God. Joe, we all know you're not writing that anyways. Plus, Joe, did you write this, right? Joe? I don't think yeah. you wrote this, Joe. Which one of your fucking wordy assistants wrote this fucking shit, dude? Fire him. Put on another one of your dad's suits, Junior. Jesus. <laughs> uh but it says, uh, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024 as Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and the voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work towards eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. Why? So is are, are trans people taking a whole bunch of heat just because dipshit Joe Biden wanted to take credit for something that's existed for 15 years? Is that what happened here? That's he exactly what it seems by like. The power vested in me. I am reinforcing. I am declaring this thing that has already previously been declared. But I did it. I did it. It was me. It was We're the clout route, idea. baby. I am great. I am Joe Biden. Please clap. We're the clout route, baby. So we're going to point out a grift when we see a grift. Okay. Jesus. And. I think Biden is hitting it. He's like, okay. Biden is like, uh, I mean, obviously it's not him because there's not a lot going on up there these days. I don't think anymore, but love the guy. Sure. Uh, oh, there yeah, are people like Morse code going on up there. <laughs> like a couple of taps a minute. There are people around him that are like, what? Saying like, oh, this would be good. This will be good PR for you if you go and. Uh, uh, make this announcement of a holiday that or a, a day of visibility that already exists. You go online and you act like you did it, and then all of Twitter will be talking about you for days. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I, I this was because some people are just getting mad that. Oh, by coincidence, Easter lands on the same day as this holiday that already exists, this trans visibility thing. And that's ridiculous. But honestly, some if like somebody reads this and thinks the same thing that we just said, like this guy's just working for brownie points, you know, whatever. Then I kind of get that you're getting a little more heated and like vocal about it. You're like, well, what the fuck? You know, what the fuck are you doing here, dude? You're just trying to fucking... You, ensure some votes by oh we did the the trans day of visibility or whatever yeah this dude's he's cosplaying as a democrat joe biden <laughs> he, he, first of all you know come on that's all he's been doing this whole time anyway <laughs> yeah well we can talk about that you know how many of these poor folks wanted bernie and look what they got this fucking corpse oh yeah. my god dude that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> How sad is that? Uh, yeah. So I uh, know uh, another one. I, for one, am shocked to find out that a vice president best known for holding two ice cream cones at the same time can't come <laughs> up with any of his own ideas. Danny, I am flabbergasted that he would steal someone else's idea, try to take credit for it, and then somehow wind up stepping in dog shit anyway. Wow. So thanks, Joe, for uh, as I had already said once on the show, <laughs> Bernie at home. <laughs> as i've already said once on the show thank you joe for causing more trouble for a group of people that you so supposedly care so much about you go do this little performative bit you cause them even more issues like the quartering here saying joe biden celebrating easter sunday as his transgender day of visibility the white house banned religious themed easter eggs Good. Okay. Separation of church and state. Mr. Uh, Jeremy fucking Hambly. Dumbass. Oh, wait a minute, dude. They, hey, that's it. That's a oh Wait, I forgot about that. We were supposed <laughs> to do that, weren't we? <laughs> One nation under God, dude. <laughs> uh, but anyway. <laughs> separated. <laughs> the White House banned religious themed Easter eggs while at an <laughs> event for military families he totally cares about. This was on purpose. By the way, 
These people don't need a day of visibility. They are crammed down our throats at every conceivable turn. And I just want to, uh, Jeremy. Well, that's what I'm saying. I just want to scroll down here and show my tweet here. (laughs) Why are trans people being crammed down your throat? (laughs) Yeah, right. What are you doing? That seems like a a personal interest, you know? Yeah, that's a choice. That's a choice. Crammed down your throat at every conceivable turn, huh? We all know what section of of corn hub you're looking at. (laughs) God damn. Save it for the only dance, man. So uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Jeremy, for being wrong as usual. The the <laughs> easiest person to laugh at on the internet, Mister Mister uh, the Quartering. <laughs> yeah, what do the yeah do they get like a you, you should at least get like a free donut it's visibility? At, okay, I think they get a donut at Sheets uh, or a donut hole. Your choice. I would take the donut just because more surface area. Mm. but uh you might want to go with the six pack of donut holes I maybe don't know. it depends on it's your what... day dude not mine because i don't have a bald person day maybe it depends on what uh gender you transition to like if you transition from <laughs> you a... just get a you, an, an old white dude will tip his cap at you from across <laughs> the bar that's what you i get. think i think if you go to dunkin donuts or whatever and you that's say hey better. i trend i transitioned from a male to a female they're gonna hand you your free donut but then if you're like, I transitioned from a female to a male, you get the long john. Okay? You get me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Am I not supposed to? Hey, she, it's kind of a big deal. Ohio just got a sheet. Pretty soon we're going to get Walmarts. Um, I go to sheets every day, bro. <laughs> so I don't know. It's not necessarily that I'm team sheets. It's that you know, I'm team sheets. We don't have any Bucky's or what's that place down south where it's like a, it's like a mall, but they have uh the gas stations you know what i'm talking about you know no. they, they have some crazy uh it's like a landmark dude. Jungle everybody's Jim? gotta go hot dog <laughs> or burger depending yeah there we go yeah. there you go yeah you go to you go to wendy's they're either you know or five guys they're either grilling you up you know you get a big hot goal. dog or the, the the double cheeseburger okay someday sometimes it's better to be it's sometimes it's better to be a transition female to male than it is to be a transition f- male to female. Because, you know, if you're going to five guys and trying to get your free food item on trans awareness day, you're getting a hot dog versus a hamburger. I would much rather performatively transgenders to get a hamburger than a hot dog. <laughs> that, you know, I'm going to come in with tits. And a dress on, and they're gonna give me my free uh, free hamburger, double cheeseburger. If you're a woman, okay. What if you go in there and you <laughs> ask them for a free sandwich, and they're not gonna know to give you a hot dog or a hamburger <laughs> because a hot dog is a sandwich. That's the real debate we should be having right now, guys. I'm not trying to figure out whose hmm. day should be acknowledged. Is a hot dog a sandwich, and is cereal soup? These are the real questions. That Have I'm you answered answer. these questions online before? I mean, cereal absolutely is soup. Yes. I don't you care if it's this? been answered online. You stood behind this before? Yeah, I mean, I yeah. Because oh, yeah. oh, if yeah. this is a hot scoop, then maybe we should talk about it. Like, have you yeah. ever told anybody what your opinion is on whether a hot dog is a sandwich or whether soup is cereal or whatever? No, the hot said? hot dog, I don't know that we've gotten into, but cereal mm-hmm. is soup 100%, dude, all day. Lock it in. Ice cream soup. Melt your ice cream in the microwave, like my buddy Ooh. from middle school. Ice cream soup. Dude, somebody else was talking about cramming a bunch of cookies into a glass of milk the other day i can't remember who it was but there are dozens of us i'm telling cookie monster Mm -hmm. (laughs) it might have been him yeah if i was a bad man (laughs) i think there there was like a vampire next to him counting the cookies he's putting in so that tracks yeah uh so despite all of the uh nonsense with the trans awareness day and blah 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 whatever, whoa whoa whether, don't phrase it like that danny it's whether, not nonsense okay he didn't mean that guys he's a, I he's didn't an ally. mean the day is okay. nonsense but the that's no, not nonsense the, uh, the day isn't nonsense but the uh the conversation around the day is nonsense okay how about that did i correct myself yes um, <laughs> I think so. I was I was stuck on this transracial thing. It was like that. Remember that lady, Duke the NAACP Duke. lady? Remember that? Remember the lady who was uh, very tan, pretended to be black? Remember that? What was her name? 
we we talked about her in like I season can't, one. I think, I think of her name. No, we just talked about her a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, she she comes back every once in a while. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's too many people that come across my desk. Their names go fucking in and out of my, in and out of my head. If V Dub was here, since she's political, he would know that immediately. For some reason, Rachel Dolezal. Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're on it, Carla Headbug. You guys got it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Carla really loves the Rachel Dolezal uh, uh, story. There, she loves that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was the one that was sharing me that stuff the other day. So shouts out to, uh, to her. <laughs> but anyways, what I was getting at was aside from all of this nonsense, I won't specify what nonsense we're talking about here, but despite all the nonsense, um, <laughs> when I think of Easter and online and virality and blah, 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 it's honestly not even just whenever somebody says Easter to me. The first thing that pops in my head for some unfortunate reason is this, Kevin. And I want to share it with you and the audience because I want it to be the same experience for all of us. Okay. I want you guys to come to Easter every year and you think about that one time Danny showed you that uh, human marshmallow peep challenge from Rhett and Link on good mythical morning uh and i'll bring you some nightmare fuel okay My shadow. let's check this out this is what i always think of oh, dude when easter comes around this oh my god this is uh, it's about about halftime break for me gang like, <laughs> no you have to see this too Hold i on. told you i was gonna play horror games after this i don't think i have the stomach for it now <laughs> Uh, can I can I hold on to you? You can hold on to my hands. I, I need to hold on to your face. Bro. Okay, no. Okay, very I'm important step. I can't forget. Sleep. Close your eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm giving you chocolate eyes. <laughs> this is this is horrifying. Look, yeah. <laughs> I can't look. You just said look. I said we want you to look towards. <laughs> look this way towards me. Dude, this is way more entertaining than when they just try different foods. Holy crap. Yeah. You're not okay. into this? You're not into this? You I'm, way more, I'm way more into this than oh, okay. them, like, throwing a dartboard at a map and then saying, <laughs> let's eat the the movie treats from Chile or whatever the hell they're doing. <laughs> yeah, right? You they're like this much more. better. Yeah. I love this, actually. <laughs> this is, I would have this with my coffee. Yeah, I want some more... Uh, <laughs> old gods that make me just terrified to even open my eyes is that the humiliation ritual people <laughs> what up arles oh my god chica's this final is. form from fnaf <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness yeah this was a pro this was prototype uh this was <laughs> the prototype to the fnaf robots or whatever they just got a bunch of people to dress, dress up in some you know, practical effects. Yeah, instead of Golden Bonnie, this is, uh, yeah, this is Golden Chica right here. (laughs) This is the the first, when they still had those, uh, the suits you could wear. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little (laughs) foggy on my lore. You know what I'm talking about. (laughs) You guys know. But yeah, no, this is always where my head goes. I mean, I can't ever get this nightmare (laughs) peep out of my head, dude. The burned ones after a pizza simulator. Oh my God. (laughs) Uh, so so it's not all bad things across the internet for easter right kevin no there's been plenty of good things um we just we don't curate those those aren't as much fun to look at (laughs) so uh speaking of which your palate isn't going to get cleansed if you were uh if you were freaked out about that one, well, prepare yourself. This might as well be Halloween, people, because. Uh... <laughs> oh, speaking of FNAF horror. Oh, my God, dude. It's about to get crazier, okay? Have you ever seen a man eat a chocolate bunny? Um, uh, yes, but we no. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I want to ask, okay? Save that one for the only dance, okay? You remember being a child and getting your Easter basket or whatever, whether it was from your mother or you went to a church or you or your father or your grandmother, whatever, you know, at some point in your life, I hope, Kevin, I pray for you. If not, I'll have to get you one. 
But I hope at some point in your life you got an Easter basket handed to you. Mm-hmm. An yeah. Easter basket's got like Reese cups and, and chocolate eggs and the big giant fucking hollowed out chocolate bunny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you could break that. You could ration that one out for yourself and have some Easter candy for a couple of days if you really wanted to. I don't know if I'm a hater here. I don't know if I'm going to get backlash for this. But the Easter bunny, chocolate bunny, fucking sucks, dude. What? How that dare you? Sucks, dude. I mean, maybe if you're buying some low-grade fucking I think Mars my mom level. was... She was Dollar Tree or something, some okay? Some cheap-ass chocolate. Yeah, but if it's some of that good, real milk chocolate, dude, you, why do you need – you don't need to throw a bunch of extra bullshit. What do you need? Some sprinkles? You need some jimmies in there to spruce up, you know? Full of the, air. What? Yeah, it's, it's exactly. That's all you need, <laughs> baby. Some air and some thick-ass milk chocolate that melts in your mouth but also in your pocket if you rode your bike out too long you know but that's what happens when you try to sneak chocolate out of the house you know some lessons you only need to learn once but god damn man i wasn't gonna sneak a three musketeers out you know this is the perfect kind because if something bad happens it's just a an off-brand chocolate bunny it's perfect if anything <laughs> happens to it it doesn't matter it's not a loss it's not a reese's egg it's not a cadbury caramel by the way over cream if while we're having debates today okay Okay. Uh, give me them Cadbury caramel eggs. Mm, yeah. But, nah, the other man. one looks gross. The other one looks gross. The cream. <laughs> talked about this. I've talked about this in length on Discord recently. The Cadbury <laughs> eggs. And the cream is just gross. The cream is just gross. It looks gross. Okay. But uh, no, I, I before I forget, I'd like to say that. I think that these chocolate bunnies... <laughs> These chocolate bunnies get produced, okay? I think that it's like, have you ever seen the episode of Futurama where they have the, uh, they, they're all drinking slurm and they go to the slurm factory and they find out that the slurm is being made by a giant slug that's like, you know, shitting out the drink into individual cans for you to drink. Is this uh, quiet on the set episode five? I heard that was coming out. <laughs> that's what I think is going on here. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Somebody gets my Futurama reference. That's what I think is going on here. <laughs> with bunnies, okay. I think that they've got some alien species, like freak of nature, Easter bunny locked up somewhere. And it just like, rips farts that turn into fucking little chocolate bunnies. And then they it's wrap like- oil and send them to you. That's why they're full of air. It's a, it's a bunny fart. Oh, maybe. Okay. It's uh, like Peter Chocolate Tail. Mm, uh, exactly. Yeah. You're on You're on the same page. A lot of our myths are just uh, true stories kind of tweaked. So we won't, you know, like Santa Claus is actually Satan. You know, just, <laughs> uh, just change a couple letters around. That's true. I see you let that. him into your house. Yeah. On Jesus' birthday. Don't you feel proud of yourself? <laughs> I see that chat is pretty controversial about this. You got caramel over jizz eggs. You've got... Wait, what the fuck? Cadbury cream supremacy. Uh, so, I mean, sorry, guys, but I don't know. What's your go to <laughs> Easter candy then? Since we're hating on the since I'm hating on the bunnies, since we're hating on the Cadbury cream. What do you recommend this this holiday for folks? Well, if you're not going to go with <laughs> the only choice, which is the Cadbury caramel egg, I would say, I don't know, maybe something with peanut butter in it, maybe a little Reese's. Reese's eggs. eggs. Thank you. Reese's eggs is the is the choice. Okay. If you are searching for the quintessential <laughs> holiday Easter tree, okay. If it's beef straight to jail. Yeah. <laughs> if <No>. it's beef, <laughs> not even straight to jail. Stone those motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> Peeps, you're getting stoned. Okay. You're getting stoned. And not just this, not just the uh this stone, but I'm throwing rocks at your head. No, like the Poland spring kind. Yeah, like the, the Jesus kind. Very apt for today, yes. <laughs> but uh, the peanut butter eggs are the candy for Easter, if you ask me, okay? First off, it is a Reese cup. So you just start baseline there. Delicious. <laughs> but then we're talking like it's a, it's a bigger and it's filled with more peanut butter. I mean... I don't know how you could get better than a peanut butter egg. 
You know what? Reese's really played themselves when they did those stupid little Christmas trees because I think it watered down the market. You know, yeah, instead honestly. of just having, you know, oh, we got our Easter peanut butter eggs, then they do like some stupid jack o' lantern shit at Halloween. So now it's almost like they just have uh, one of my grandma's old cookie sheets out there. And they're just like, oh, every holiday, here's the most basic generic bullshit that we are you mad? peanut butter. And I'm mad because everybody knows that shapes are important in how things taste. That's why <laughs> that's why Kraft Mac and Cheese, the shapes always taste better than the elbows. Everybody knows this. It's I love science, the SpongeBob. Scientific fact here. Mm. So the egg is the only good tasting shape. And in those little triangles of the christmas tree there's all of this wasted there's a lack of peanut butter there because they're not mm. there's too many sharp angles danny when oh. the angles are that sharp you're not getting your it's maximum to, peanut butter that's hard and to fill the that ratio mold. exactly the ratio is all yeah. fucked up it's so dumb i mean a child could see this uh <laughs> which is why will arnett is the official spokesperson of reese's uh, no one else would stand for this that's okay it's like there's just a hierarchy of candies okay it's like for easter reesey gets to be king but then when halloween rolls around and the jack-o'-lanterns come back out it's like well we'll settle for second place and then maybe when christmas comes around it's like okay you know the trees might be third but uh if you ask me <laughs> i'll take the trees i'll take the jack-o'-lanterns and i'll especially <laughs> take those eggs i'll take all the peanut butter that's what i'm saying Ooh. <laughs> but anyways we're talking about the chocolate bunnies people okay show me your passion for chocolate bunnies and chat while we watch this okay <sighs> today i'm going to be trying you did to not just this lego batman <laughs> easter, even though i don't believe in an easter i'm the easter bunny i'm the easter bunny i'm the easter bunny i'm the easter bunny i'm the easter today i'm going to be trying Bro, i i know that's got to be like his sister's car or something you know what i mean like i feel like he he talks somebody into hey man can i borrow your car for like an hour and they think it's to go ahead and he just he just needed to cover himself in chocolate and didn't want to get his own car dirty <laughs> <laughs> honestly the whole this whole, <laughs> this whole experience that you're describing is honestly funnier than anything he did in his little TikTok. <laughs> for real though when I first saw this, I was like, this is a lot of effort to go to for a joke that really doesn't hit for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just like, I'm going to try a fucking Easter bunny. And then all of a sudden he's covered in chocolate saying, I'm an Easter bunny. I'm the I'm Easter bunny. bunny. Is there a joke that I'm missing here? Or is it just oh, a no. fucking freak? <laughs> Who's that guy that made Midsummer? I feel like the, I, I found his next movie project. He did Hereditary. He did Midsummer. Uh... <laughs> coming next year is ishtar and it's gonna star this guy as the easter buddy <laughs> it's gonna be great dude i'm telling you oh dear lord dude i mean yeah it just doesn't hit for me this is a lot of work when you get to this even though i don't believe in an easter, I'm the easter bunny. I'm the easter i mean like <laughs> look at this look at this i mean that's so much effort it has to be so sticky I don't even know. Like, are we saying this is chocolate? I oh, guess. Oh, definitely not. No way. No? It's got to be. No, no. I don't believe it's chocolate. Poop? Maybe. Some <laughs> kind of. What it? What I would get it a be? Lot, I get, it's a lot cheaper to get a bunch of poop to cover yourself in. You know, you could probably just go to the park and, like, find it and then, like, mix it up or something. He probably just waited for a local rest or restaurant or grocery store to close down. And then as soon as it turned into a party city, he just came out and was like, do you guys have any <laughs> fake chocolate? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't get it, people. It's okay. a little racist, Pest says. I, that is black face on a, was he black? I believe he was, yeah. <laughs> I, well, you know. Me, yeah. A little yeah. racist, I guess. Okay. We should definitely stop showing it then, because we'll be the ones that get in trouble, even though we didn't do the blackface. Uh we yeah, so we shouldn't we should he, uh, abort. He even tells us here, he says warning, don't skip too far. <laughs> 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 he even says, like, dude, you don't want to see what I'm about to show you, okay? <laughs> 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 oh, I do want to listen to some 
Tay's on day, you know? He got fucking chocolate rain right there, dude. He stepped out in a fucking chocolate rain cloud. It's deep, dude. Don't Maybe get... we'll do that. Uh, Ooh, yeah. You know, you know yeah. what I'm about to say? Maybe we'll do that I on know. Uh, Beavis and Butthead sometime. Listen to chocolate. <laughs> chocolate rain. Well, how did it go? Some say dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate, Chocolate rain. rain. What does that even mean? <laughs> dude, about, about racism, dude. Oh. Okay. That's right, dude. It. Yeah. <laughs> this song's a banger. Uh, speaking of music videos, I want to interrupt our uh, our Easter. Uh, oh, is it halftime, baby? Extravaganza. Not yet. After this clip, we'll take a halftime. But uh, the newest music video that's landed on my radar that we're probably going to have to watch for Beavis and Butthead uh, on Patreon, Clout Route, do Beavis and Butthead, patreon.com slash the Clout Route, where we do that. Score. Um, check this one out. Aiden Ross really had sex with a pie in Sexy Red's new music video, Get It Sexy. <laughs> so Aiden cannot come up with not only can he not be an original streamer and come up with anything that anyone else has never done before, you know, he's always ripping off what, you know, I show speed or XQC did before him, but uh, he can't even help himself when it comes to the music video scene, but to rip off somebody else's great idea of fucking a pie in the kitchen. Okay. I mean, we all know the the classic American pie from the nineties originated the idea yeah but he wasn't born when that came out so he probably thinks it nobody uh, else will notice that's like convergent thought it's just like yeah happy. it's a coincidence he's just like oh yeah no i totally came up with that idea it was like carlos mencia you know how he just kept oh, coming up with all of those jokes that people had already right. told him. it was just a coincidence man that remember back when joe rogan was cool and he went on stage while carlos mencia was like doing his little bit and he's like hey dude you steal jokes bitch and they went there back and forth that was great <laughs> this was like, filmed on 314 you know so there's that you know you got to give them some point you gotta get at least one creativity point back right okay fair enough thank you uh th thank you advent for that little easter egg is it an Easter egg? I see what you did there. Oh, it is today. It is, it is today. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, Aiden Ross in uh, the newest, what was her name? Sexy Red or something? Music video? Whatever. What are we doing, bro? A pie? Why is he touching it's it? Sexy Red, bro. Wait, did you just ask why is he touching that pie? Yeah, <laughs> why would he be still holding it? <laughs> it's like, like, yeah, it's like got know? a cream filled center, and he's like, dude, what's up with this pie, bro? Dude, why is it on my hands? <laughs> he's like, why is it? Why does yeah. it taste so salty? What is it? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just man and yeah, exactly. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> You're you just know this guy never worked in a kitchen, okay? <laughs> There's no idea what cross contaminating is. So he see what I mean, Kevin. Even Aiden can't he can't he cannot come up with an original thought, okay? This man it does not exist. Dude, we should celebrate if he has any thought at all. I'm pretty certain that there's just uh you know so this is a W for him, you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy might as well be on a ventilator, dude. If, <laughs> if Aiden Ross gets any less intelligent, they're going to have to stick him in an iron lung because he's going to forget how to breathe on his own. So just be happy that he can actually deliver a line in front of a camera. Don't expect him to come up with any of his own ideas, Danny. That's crazy. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right, well. On that note, we'll get back to Easter shenanigans after I do a little, uh, what do they call it? Housekeeping? I don't know what you want That's to call right. it. Housekeeping! Housekeeping! Knock, knock, knock! Housekeeping! Be right back. Uh, your housekeeping is here today. I shouldn't make an accent like that or whatever. I don't want anybody to accuse me of anything. Okay. <laughs> I should have went, knock, 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 housekeeping. It's me, a man that's going to clean. 
your uh your your hotel room knock knock uh, <laughs> here's a little housekeeping folks <laughs> If you're here and you haven't yet, please like the stream, okay? There is a like button. Hit it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, get that D on subscribed real quick. Hit that D, okay? Subscribe, please. We would very much appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't yet, we encourage active comments and chat, okay? Because we look at them. We talk about them. We interact with you, okay? That's what we're here to do on the shout out, folks. Interact with chat. Uh, watch some of the things you submitted. Um, sometimes we'll have guests too. That was supposed to be today, but it didn't happen. Uh, but thank you for being here. And while you're here, I just want to shout out our producers over at patreon.com slash the clout route, okay? Over at patreon.com slash the clout route, you can watch us do Beavis and Butthead. You can get early videos. There's an early video that just released today that you could watch. If not, you got to wait till tomorrow. But that's how the cookie crumbles. If you want all this crazy shit, exclusive early stuff, patreon.com slash the clout route for a dollar or five, you can get it. Or you can subscribe for free. That's cool, too. We do appreciate that. But our producers, Pest, Tarar, Kinda Cool Greg, Carla, Ryan, and Only Mistakes, okay? If you ask me, there are no, on, there, there aren't mistakes, okay? Only Mistakes never made a mistake. In fact, especially subscribing to the Clout Route on Patreon. <laughs> Kevin, you're back That's just right. in time to cover my ass, okay, go. while I go. I, you know what? I'll be honest with the crowd here. I don't need a ta I mean, I don't need a uh, bathroom break. I don't need a drink. Mm. I didn't spill anything this week, okay? My head's sweaty. I need a mm. towel to wipe my face. Towel, dude. You should have got... <laughs> Should have got you one of those Keemstar bandanas like I did, dude. Come on. What is the deal? <laughs> but don't you worry, well, Danny. Take me a second. I've got something queued up for the folks at home. And Ryan, if you're still here, this one's for you, pal. Because uh -huh. I was going to save this for the end. But let's do it. Kevin Gates. 30 seconds in. What do you say? It was about 30 seconds. All right. You got two <laughs> eggs. Scrambling it up, dude. What there was it? it? I got, I got that two. That was quick. That was, uh, man. I need to get Kevin on Gates, this Kevin Gates, two I phones. Got, all right. I got two phones. One for the bitches and one for the hoes. What's the difference here? Uh, ooh, that's <laughs> a good one. I think you pay one and another oh. one. You just like buy dinners for or something. I don't know. I'm not really okay. sure. And then what was the first part he said though? It was like one for the drugs and one for the what? For the that's loads, a good idea. I think. Which uh, again, now now I'm confused because is it the bitches is he taking, or the hoes? Like who is he getting loads? Who do you who yeah, who are the loads for? Where <laughs> where, do, where do I send my loads? Okay. <laughs> Hey, new hip hop. Yes. Yes. See, yeah, I you love know, prefer the Chemical Brothers. All right. Swoon by the Chemical Brothers. Go check that <laughs> out. Great song. Imagine what place we would be in if there was never a fucking shitty P. Diddy. Okay. Uh, yeah. P. Diddy just ruined classic hip hop for all of us. Okay. It's, it's a fucking it tragedy. Did a, lot of things. It did a lot of things for a lot of people. Took out two legendary rappers, okay? Including Get Him to the Greek. That movie. Never be, never watch that movie the same again now, can you? <laughs> you know, that movie, honestly, you could watch Get Him to the Greek and play like a, uh, you could play a drinking game with Get Him to the Greek where you're like drinking every time that P. Diddy or Russell Brand does something not out of character, but actually in character, <laughs> like for their yeah, real life. Person. Every time they use their real life to make a joke <laughs> in that movie. Wow. Right. That, yeah. You get real drunk. Cause P Diddy's telling people in that movie to like, he's like, okay, 
uh, he, he says like, "Hey, Amber, okay, I want you to, I want you to go over there, and I need you to have sex with Russell Brand real quick." Like he literally says a line like that in the movie. <laughs> All right, Shaniqua, I need you to get over here. We got some work for you to do. <laughs> it's like, and now you're getting arrested for sex trafficking. <laughs> I feel that. shocked. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear Lord, dear Lord. Uh, <laughs> thank you thank you folks make sure you subscribe to everything okay everything uh, enough kevin gates enough coolest kev okay it's kev and dan these two on the clout route from now on yes uh let's get back into it okay should we uh should we palette cleanse i feel like you sent me something <laughs> uh, for a palate cleanse and i always come up with a clever uh like description in the doc rather than just put like plain out like kevin's palate cleanse mm. because <laughs> honestly it probably helped me remember things a little bit better it's like i come up with a creative tagline and then i forget what the clip even is You're like, what does that mean <laughs> man <laughs> it's like what did i even mean by that i could have just put like kevin's clip he submitted and i'd be like oh yeah that one i want to watch that dude i used to do that to myself all the time i'd <laughs> i'd try to shorthand notes for myself like oh future kev will remember he'll get it. like no i won't stupid <laughs> you're drunk right now idiot just write down write it all out you dummy uh so i've been there <laughs> so here is our palate cleanser before we the kevin cleanser as they Ooh, say okay i like that before we get into any more Easter shenanigans, okay? <laughs> I have four moods. Yeah. What is, is going me. on with this filter, by the way? Like, what filter is this? <laughs> that is some kind of, an right? He's like, I got to be a badass anime guy with the, but it made his on the keyboard. <laughs> but it made his face all fucking round. I assume that his head oh, doesn't no, no, naturally no. look like a bowling pin. <laughs> oh, you, you, uh, you know what happens when you assume. Danny. <laughs> we I will guess see. you're right. I guess you're right. Okay, yeah, let's it play. ain't it ain't that hat that's just too tight for that head. <laughs> I have four moves. Silly. <laughs> Angie, sad, and alpha. <laughs> and alpha. Did you? You got to be honest. You didn't see alpha coming, did you? Come on. <laughs> I didn't. You're right. I didn't see alpha. Coming. Alpha males, dude. First of all, the Complete reason I wanted, to, I wanted to show you guys all this. This is what can happen if. Um, if you let your children wear rec specs for too long, you know, those, uh, those sports goggles that have the oh, band around them. I'm to trying to figure it? out. Yeah. That's because I'm trying to figure out like what happened. Cause our, our <laughs> poor boy here, he's got like a peanut job going on. And normally when you see it, you see like the dent at the top of the head. Cause they're, you know, wearing a headset. Yeah. Forever. But I don't know how you get this one. Right. Unless you're like, Go like a data thing, you know, you're just kind of like <laughs> it is like one of those where you uh yeah where you've seen somebody on YouTube put like the the absolute maximum amount of rubber bands around the center of a watermelon. <laughs> it's like right before it's about to just fucking explode into a thousand pieces. That's his fucking brain. That's his head. <laughs> this is That's your head not, on alpha he, male, dude. He looks like a fucking Mr. Peanut almost. <laughs> Man, if that, I'll 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 stay a beta, you know. If that if that's what if that's what an alpha does to you. No, I'm good. <laughs> that's what alpha. That's alpha brain, actually. That's <laughs> <laughs> that that's the shit that Alex Jones is selling. Okay. <laughs> it Get makes you, some you of angry. That. <laughs> Get you makes you angry, but you are an alpha. <laughs> but at least you're an alpha. <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> shout out to that's our fourth mic we found third mic earlier yeah, yeah. also an egg yeah. <laughs> all right so uh do you remember whoa vicky whoa yes dude whoa oh man whoa vicky was she before cash me outside i think she might have been after and little tay know. or is she like just a complete knockoff same 
it's the same realm. You've got the right timeline. It's like around then. Also but, the same realm as uh, Rachel Dolezal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Yeah, it's a callback. <laughs> yeah, they all are doing a little bit of an accent play, right? <laughs> but uh, I've got Whoa Vicky here, and tis the season. Uh, well, Vicky has an Easter clip <laughs> for us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Transracialist. Whoa, <Well>, Vicky. <laughs> she does fit right in with Ollie London, doesn't she? Um, check this out. She went to, it looks like she's at a fucking, uh, a, a strip mall. It's like a, it's like a Coles and a, in one of those malls that all the stores are attached. Wow. You know they what still, I'm talking? Yeah. Yeah, they used to have these in most major American cities. <laughs> now only the smaller cities have them. It's funny. <laughs> it is kind of like an opposite phenomenon, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the strip mall only exists in the forgotten, you know, the ghost towns. And yeah, because they can't afford to take that shit down. They got to do something with it. They're like, well, <laughs> hell, brother, we got all this real estate. Might as well <laughs> put a Chuck E. Cheese in here or something. Well, we're not at Chuck E. Cheese with well, Vicky, but... Listen to this. What was Jesus' dad name? What is Jesus' dad name? I don't know. Um, it's God. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the she Jewish? Oh, okay. Shalom. What was Jesus? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's Jewish. <laughs> they, they call God a different name. Uh, it's like <laughs> it couldn't have been a worse <laughs> it couldn't have been a worse like example of like a celebratory uh easter like tiktok okay she's like what what's jesus's dad's name then it falls on deaf ears and then she's like actually she's jewish <laughs> It seems like a bit that somebody wrote, actually. You know what I mean? I do appreciate Vicky's journalistic integrity, though, because she caught herself. She said, what was Jesus's dad's name? And then she realized she had misspoke because God is eternal. So then she said, oh. what is Jesus's dad's name? Because she knew <laughs> it's Easter. He's, he's been resurrected because they're the same guy. I don't know if you yeah, know this guy. Really they're really actually the same that. guy. So like when one resurrects, so does the other. It's I was a whole... There's a third guy, too. I don't know. He's got holes. Something about holes. I don't know. I was asking Holy. this the other day. The whole the whole pat, the triangle <laughs> fucking path, <laughs> father, son, Holy Spirit. It doesn't make much sense to me, okay? Like, who got Mary pregnant, okay? Jesus was born out of that lady. The Anunnaki. Jesus came out of the lady. So who knocked her up? Immaculate conception. It's like, that's happened before, right? That yeah, yeah. Joseph happened. was the first simp. He was the first <laughs> cuck. <laughs> who? Oh, I don't know, honey. I just, uh, just an angel floated down here and got me pregnant. I swear. Sure. I swear. Mary. How sure. could I, how could I ever be unsatisfied married to a carpenter? Of course I'm happy. Uh, what was her occupation? I don't know why. I don't know why carpenters out here catching strays. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good living, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it just no doesn't Mason make sense to me. Okay, you can't just like make a little uh, 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 infographic that's like a triangle and just say like God equals Jesus equals Holy Spirit equals it. It doesn't make sense still. There's three different things. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, or I'm saying it wrong. That's the Father, happens. the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? Yeah. Uh uh well, when your whole religion is a pagan patchwork quilt, Danny, you you've got <laughs> some you've got what uh, we in the biz like to call plot holes. We're losing the Catholics, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> God has DID. Yes. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Pest is right, yeah. Apparently, back in the day, you could just knock up a lady and be like, <laughs> somebody came out the sky and did that shit. It wasn't me. Yeah, yeah <laughs> dude. That must have been uh, God the Father right there, man. 
talking about <laughs> you can walk on water it wasn't me i'm like Ke- kevin i don't got i don't got time for this kid bro i don't got i don't got time i don't got money for this kid uh the holy spirit i think is the father uh uh d- d- god himself <laughs> yeah yeah that flaming bush thing that wasn't a euphemism yeah yeah yeah, yeah i wouldn't wasn't talking about a redhead no yeah that was real that was uh literal you should take it very literally <laughs> oh no good. more Ibovich, yeah <laughs> uh, let's see let's see what other easter treats do i have for you folks today okay this one's from creepy.com on on uh oh no wonder it's creepy.com this one oh, is from creepy.com on <laughs> on uh on twitter and yes no Nothing to do with peeps, okay, people? No peeps involved to make this one creepy. It's actually just uh, <gasps> Pope Francis. Oh, Pope <laughs> Quentin. <laughs> Pope Quentin. Pope Dan Schneider, pro- executive producer of The Amanda Show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, well, wash his feet of 12 women at a Rome prison from his wheelchair during Holy Thursday. This motherfucker is this, this Pope Francis is so fucking kinky. Okay. That when the hammer came down on all the, the, the pedo stuff. Okay. And they start saying all this stuff about you. What are you doing under your robes there? Catholic guy and everything. When that hammer dropped and they kind of, the kibosh was put on all that. They couldn't get away with it as much anymore. Pope Francis was like, fuck, fuck it, dude. That's fine. Because I can just go to a Rome prison and kiss 12 women's feet that are locked up there (laughs) for my kink. Okay. Fuck it. (laughs) Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. uh, This is brutal. First of all, uh, how uh, the audacity of this dude to wash people's feet. Uh, This guy thinks he's fucking Jesus, by the way. Is this guy uh, Jesus too? Right? Like why? Why? Else, why uh, what? You know, you're washing people's feet now because you, you're you're Jesus Himself. Okay, all right, <laughs> creep. And now you're out here licking women's feet, oh. and they're prisoners too. By the way, my God, just yeah, it's horrible. Like, talk went, about like a specific fetish. He's like. I need some real dirty ladies, okay? I can't just be getting off on any normal feet, okay? <laughs> I got to get 12 prisoners in a Rome jail. Oh, no. I got to get 12 ladies from a Rome prison, okay? And we're talking like a couple <laughs> floors under, okay? I want like basement level three bitches up on stage, okay? I will uh, uh, save them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make sure you bring them to me straight after yard, too. I don't want anybody to have showered. All right. I want them fresh after <laughs> recess. I mean, yard. I, I don't I don't know why I said recess. That uh, shoppy still here. That Freudian slip was meant for the Pope, not for me. OK, I was in character. I was a bit. All right. Uh, this Passover directed by Quentin Tarantino. What else? We I can mean, we can do uh, more. Dude. Right. Jeez. I bet the girls were trying not to vomit. My God. Yeah. Like how? I mean, first of all. So, yeah, it wasn't bad enough when when you were doing it to children. Now you got to take prisoners. Right. They can't. What are they, they going to do? Say no. They get, a, <laughs> get their sentence extended to life. It's like, oh, I got to let this dirty, gross invalid kiss up and down my feet. You know what? He, or I can just go back to prison. My God. You're disgusting, sir. How dare you? Take I'm guessing these poor women. I'm guessing they get a couple years shaved off. But I've never seen me. kissing feet. You know? <laughs> I'm thinking that he lines these ladies up and he's like, you know, each each one of them gets a holy pardon from God. <laughs> 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 Let me taste all their feet and then that will absolve them of all of their crimes. Oh yeah. That's how, yeah, you walk that's how you can tell when you can't smell the feet anymore. They're they're free of sin. God does not approve this message or massage. Either one. Uh, oh, goodness. Dude. Guys, don't let me taint you with my anti-Christian uh, rhetoric, okay? Yeah, just, I let, am... just let Pope Francis taint you. Well. Literally. Well, 
<laughs> this is all I'm, I'm i'm just acting out because poland spring isn't here if poland were here i wouldn't be doing any i wouldn't be brave enough to do any of this but you know this is what happens <clears throat> we've got something <laughs> akin to like an n-word pass our uh our executive producer is catholic so we've got a catholic pass naturally it's built in plus we're white so it's easy for white guys to get away with criticizing catholics right mm. i think easier at least you know <laughs> yeah yeah well we're very oppressed so uh you know just, you got to give us a pass because we have the hardest life of anyone so they got this going on and uh i know it'll put a pause to our easter shenanigans once again but i need to show you something that has a little context i guess in this same situation um the big news over the internet the past couple days has been uh a lot of our favorites amaranth morgue pie oh um, the list goes on uh they have been banned from twitter okay and you just saw Pope Francis, okay? He gets to get jiggy with the 12 prisoner feet in Rome, <laughs> okay? Meanwhile, I can't have Morg Pie stream a video game onto her green-screened ass on Twitter, okay? We're drawing the line there, people, okay? I got Pe Pope Francis sucking on toes. Yeah, I can't have Amaranth in a hot tub on Twitch, okay? I'm pissed. <laughs> I I am also pissed. Yeah. You know, I can't stand it. I was really looking forward to finding out about all the different creative ways that streamers <laughs> put green screens over their different body parts so they could say, here, watch me use my nipple as my reticle on Fortnite. Um, <laughs> you know, I was that was what I think was coming, you know, because then it's like a cheat sheet. If you get that directly center. I mean, you can start no scoping fools. I would imagine. I never tried it. <laughs> I, well, so I couldn't be more saddened by this, Danny. He evolved from that too. Like we watched more pie, <laughs> the green screen <laughs> Fortnite or whatever on her ass, but it went further. There were people that were like, just putting a camera essentially on, like, imagine me sitting here like this. Okay. But instead of the computer chair, the bottom of my computer chair is just a clear like glass. <gasps> and then they would put a, a, a camera underneath okay so you could just see plain ass and when i saw this going around this trend or whatever like the girls were just that it was just it was just like this like regular streaming except the side screen would be a camera on their ass underneath them sitting <laughs> and it reminds me i went to uh when i worked as a butcher okay the men that pass through there tell you all kinds of fucking gruesome stories okay i got this old man telling me that back in like you know vietnam or whatever they thought it was cool and funny that there was a sex position that was like a clear glass plate that you would get put over your face and then you'd have a woman sit on your face and defecate uh -uh. <laughs> yeah and this is like old, like I said, this is like some Vietnam shit that this guy was telling me. Like, oh, back in, back in my day when I was fighting the good fight, I had a Vietnamese lady sit on a glass plate and shit on my face. <laughs> and now, and now we're getting bent out of shape about Amaranth having a little camera underneath her computer chair. I mean, by God, what is this place turning? Wow. Coming? What is this Just, place becoming? Man, I can't. I can't believe Harles is going to go watch Young Frankenstein instead of uh, I would be saying, hey, got to go. I got to go watch more of these see through uh, toilet videos that we were just talking about. We can uh, move on from the see -through. How can we compete? I'm sorry, Harles. <laughs> or I was like, yeah, see what there's a, uh, it looks, tur turns out my, I have a television and I'm just going to go watch whatever's on that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's not every, it's not very often we get one of those where we're just like, you know, riffing, <laughs> shooting the shit. I mean, maybe, maybe a little too on the nose here for this situation, yeah, but it's, it's not too often that we're just shooting the shit. And then somebody in chat's like, ah, <laughs> all right, I'm out. It's, it's been like real guys. Fucking, <laughs> the, the Homer gif where he goes out into the, goes back into the bushes. 
I'm out that of here. escalated quickly. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, dude. This was an old, nice man that fought for our country that told me this this story. Okay. Poland. It's a good thing you weren't here five minutes ago. <laughs> we swapped Poland for. Woo! We swapped Poland for Harles Barkley. <laughs> Have we ever seen Harles Barkley and Poland <laughs> in the same room? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Maybe it's on Adult Swim if anyone needs an after show. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, uh, thanks as always for hanging out, Harles. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> this Twitch says... <laughs> I I smell another alt account. I, I have to say, but anyways, Twitch Twitch support here says <laughs> our, our community guidelines are designed to help make Twitch a welcoming place. Content on Twitch is always evolving, and we want to make sure our rules work as intended and keep up with emerging behaviors. When needed, we make updates to our rules that capture those shifts in behavior, and so it is clear. And so it's clear to the community what is allowed starting on March 29th. So actually two days ago now. Okay. Uh, content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. We've included additional details that define the community guidelines, blah, blah. So Ooh. I didn't read into it, but Ooh. I am curious if it's like, obviously I get the whole camera on the butt in the clear chair thing. I mean, okay. Like, come on. Okay. Or the green screen, butt is like perfectly above board. Well, nothing I don't know. Board. The green screen, butt to me kind of is above board because you can't, it's not like you're actually looking at their butt cheek. Like you can't tell. It doesn't look like a female's butt cheeks. It looks like Fortnite on some obscured screen. You know yeah, what I mean? mean? It, I, it I just looks stupid. Yeah. Yeah. If you're staring at Morg Pie's green screen Fortnite streams, just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but, like, what do you get then, from that? I, man, you've got just a laundry <laughs> list of problems, I bet. We we can't fix them all at the rest of this stream. But, man. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. It seems a little uh, a little much. You know, like, who cares? Who, who gives a shit? Is this all because Hassan can, is only streaming in front of like 8,000 people now? So he's crying. Uh, he's yeah. probably had his uncle call and say, you get all the booby streamers out because nobody's watching me. I was going to say. I embarrass myself anymore. Do you think it's a coincidence that Hassan is about to sewer slide because the fucking views are so low on Twitch for him? Do you think it's a coincidence that all of a sudden they cut all the booby streamers off? All of them? I don't. I don't. You know, and those people are like looking for a home now. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? And it's like, here Ooh. is this like six foot eight dude that wears cutoffs where his hairy titties hang out. It's like the next best thing, right? The natural evolution from Amaranth or like Morgue Pie's green screen ass is now the left lefty pipeline Hassan on Twitch. You're fucked. Yeah. Our youth is fucked. And now they're going to have to, I don't know, put a green screen across those big shoulders because his head's way too small uh, <laughs> for his own, for A, his own body, but B, for, you know, definitely for green screening. <laughs> He's going to wear green screen from head down so that he can <gasps> sh Photoshop and just shrink the shoulders. Oh, down. <laughs> yeah. So he can make it look like his head's the right size for his body. That's great. All party <laughs> in the chat. See, I told you, Putman, Harles, Poland. Actually, our entire chat right now is just one person on on 14 different accounts. Yeah, I actually don't even run my own Twitter account. It's, you know, it's whoever's behind all those alts. It's me, too. <laughs> yeah. They I just ask for our input sometimes. You know, they're like, hey, Kevin, would you say this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all it's just all Putman running all my stuff now. <laughs> Putman's out there doing the Lord's work. Can you imagine if it is one person behind all of these alt accounts that float around on Twitter? I mean, if it's one guy doing every alt account on Twitter, that's a lot of work. Impressive, yeah. I might add. I, he even I, yeah, I might be he giving even, Jesus to run for his money, you know? He even runs the clout route. I mean, come on. Yeah. The clout route. <laughs> and, yeah, and uh, Steven Crowder's new show, the crowd route. The crowd route. He runs that too, I think. <laughs> Yeah, right. 
So yeah, Twitch just banned all of their booby streamers, man. We're not going to get to laugh at a morgue pie green screen butt clip for a long time. They're going to have to yeah. come up with something new. About three days, maybe. Because that's the other thing. I mean, honestly, I know at this point, I know Twitch for two things. Uh, inconsistency with their <laughs> rules and regulations and changing their mind on said inconsistencies <laughs> rapidly. And like uh, immediately, yeah. Yeah, no, and like, no oh, heel turn never mind. We just, we <laughs> forgot. Uh, nah, fuck it. We were just kidding. That was a prank. Uh, that was a, it was a prank. Uh, April Fool's. Yeah, see what we did? We did it a day early. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, yeah, it seems to be always the deal on Twitch for them to make some sort of like uh, barely noticeable, like slight pullback on the rules. You know, they're like, oh, well, now you can't have a camera under your chair anymore. Mm -hmm. But then next week they've came up with like the new thing. Now they've got like a fucking, you know, a, a GoPro hanging from their shoulder direct down view into the crevice of their you know yeah direct butthole <laughs> uh cameras are not allowed but butt cleavage is allowed so if you want yeah you're gonna get so butt that'll be the next right. thing the <laughs> next stream it's gonna be irl what's gonna happen is morgue pie and amaranth they're gonna go and learn how to be plumbers and they're gonna just go to people's houses ah. and they're gonna fix broken sinks you know, with just like a butt, you know, we, we all know what I'm talking about with just their crack hanging out because they're plumbers. You know, that's the next Twitch meta. These streamers could get paid a lot more, I think, if they thought about like comboing careers. OK, hear me out. Twitch isn't going to let you just, you know, zoom in on your butt crack and green screen it. But if you become a lifeguard. OK. Think about this, be a lifeguard, get out there in your chair, watching the water and just put a, put a, uh, a camera right in front of your face. Okay. Yeah. Then they can see your, I mean, if you're an amaranth, you've got the whole beach outfit on, but what are they going to do? Ban you for, well, can she be job? out for more than like 20 minutes? That is a porcelain woman. Cause there's no way she ever has She's gonna turn to ash. Before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't mean to cast stones. I've just, I'm just saying. I think Amaranth has spent about as much out, time outside as I have, which you know, I, no one's hiring me to be a lifeguard either. But yeah, so you know, for those five minutes before she has to go inside with a sunburn, yeah, you're right, Danny. She might make a little money. It gets me thinking. Too, like... <laughs> I was a lifeguard, never showed my crack. Well, you know, you were probably, you probably would have made a lot more money if you had. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know. I've never heard anybody tipping their lifeguard, but they sounds might. like your problem. That bug. <laughs> uh, but it does get me thinking like um if coolest kev who we've brought up numerous times i've brought up numerous times in this episode i guess i got coolest kev on the brain <laughs> i feel like i'm getting replaced <laughs> if coolest kev can get away with his youtube videos the way that is like couldn't because it's educational right that's what how he that's how he frames it to get away with it or at least that's what I think he's fucking educational purposes. This is how you properly nair your balls without hurting yourself or whatever. L on that same note, couldn't Amaranth like become a gynecologist? But I mean, it ain't not an, an Amaranth because it wouldn't make as much sense for her. It would be like XQC or like Aiden Ross or action man or something. One of these fucking degenerates that's on kick. And they're like, well, now I'm a gynecologist and look what I've got for, uh, look, I've got my selfie stick here with me accompanied in the, uh, in the, in the doctor's office. Okay. And, uh, educational purposes only folks, you know, like, well, first of all, Aiden life? Ross, Aiden Ross cannot spell gynecologist. <laughs> so I don't think he's going to be able to pull that one off, but yeah. I know is all you need to pass the test. Mm. <laughs> I still no still he's not getting that far <laughs> but do you think there's anything to that like do you think there is a definite line that they have over at youtube where they're like okay past this nothing will happen but then if there is a line like that then that means that coolest kev's butthole clears the, i mean you know stays within the bounds 
So where is it? Like, <laughs> what are we not allowed? Yeah, no, it's kind of tough. And I often, uh, when I'm having a hard time sleeping at night, I'll, I'll lay awake in bed. You'll and I'll pull up think about, well, I'll <laughs> think about, you know, somewhere on this unfortunate earth this cold lonely rock that's just spinning in in infinity mm -hmm. there is someone who earns their living who feeds mm -hmm. their family by manually reviewing coolest kev's <laughs> butthole videos to make sure that they are above tos they've got a guy for that they, okay. there has to be a guy <laughs> and, and danny you know as well as i do we've both worked in corporate america once you take a shit job like that that just that just becomes part of your day to day. Like once the boss knows that you will put up with that level of right. disrespect, it's yours from now They're on. Like, Kevin's nobody else really, take it. Kevin's really good at this, and nobody else wants to do it. Nobody else is willing to do it, and he didn't ask us for more money, so he's fucked now. So now you just now it's just part of your job. Woo! Look at part of your job duties. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's the new task. What? No. No, it's in the job description. See? That's hilarious. Reprint. Well, rest it's in peace. Now. When when do you think it's going to be the last straw for Twitch? Like, do you think that there is a world we live in where they could, uh, you know, I don't know what they would say. We ban women from Twitch entirely. No more women on Twitch. Do you think Saudi they would finally sink the ship? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't politically correct. I'm sorry. Uh, go, what were you saying? Sorry, I was being a... I was just... I was just asking, you know, it's like, uh, will this ever affect Twitch? Is there always an alternative for an Amaranth or a Morg Pie to come up with something sexy for the kids yeah, to watch? It starts with there P a... and ends in Hub, dude. To go to the Hub. <laughs> right. But... Go there. It's also free, I think, right? I don't know. I haven't been on it in a very long time, Danny. Uh, mm, sure. You know, never, haven't sure. been on it. Uh, Mm -hmm. um but i i imagine that mm -hmm. that's if there are free websites right <laughs> my i don't know it just boggles my mind it's like eventually it's weird that it's weird to think about it as you grow up and experience all these changes happen with this kind of stuff and it's like i've experienced the entirety of twitch okay in my life and i've seen the hot tub streams, the pool, the pools and the, the Badwick, uh, green thong streams, you know, the, 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 the morgue pie, green screen pants streams, the, the, this, the, that we've seen it all over the years. And it's just funny to think about like something as harmless as morgue pie standing in front of the camera. And she's like, Oh, you donated two bucks. Guess I'm writing coolest Kev on my shoulder. You know, that is so harmful. Uh, that yeah. Now we're leading into an age where you won't even be able to as much show your, you know, you're not to be, your eyes can peer out of your outfit, but that's about it because anything else is too sexual. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> go full green, man. You want that green screen? It's gotta be everything. But see, even then, you'll get in trouble because <laughs> my lord King Cobra did that once, and he got busted for nudity he wasn't even nude he was just wearing skin tight green oh you know, wow got him you know and you could just kind of see the details of everything well, it's not, it's, sometimes it's like if you can see the shape of the cock and balls well if there's a thin layer of clothing over top it's not it's not doing much okay yes them boys see that that was another diddy group wasn't it see now that tracks <laughs> that tracks i remember them back in the day Oh, okay. It was a typo, but I, you know, I stand by my first statement, but I don't know. I just think it's funny to see all the oh, Twitch wait, wasn't shenanigans Jocko? we've seen so far. And then like Jeez. now a kid that's, uh, coming on to Twitch and watching, you know, getting into it and watching this stuff for the first time. <laughs> He, he's seeing like all these women's streams get banned and be like, well, what the heck is this? Okay, my dad told me about that one time the amaranth was on a a a, a rubber ducky in a in a <laughs> in an inflatable pool in her room. Okay, whatever happened to that? I can't even watch a lady play Fortnite on her butt. <laughs> I don't know. 
And Danny's going to be like, back in my day, I used to be. And your wife's going to be like, you used to watch what, Danny? Huh? <laughs> you were watching what? Well, this you is told the me, thing. You told me you were prepping for the clout route. Yeah, you say, Danny, what does your wife think about what you watch on Twitch? I don't watch Twitch alone. <gasps> oh, it's like a foreplay thing. Huh? You're like, <laughs> hey, baby, it's Wednesday night. I don't watch the anything. Night we alone, usually bro. make love, all right. You queue up a little fly to the Concords. You got business time playing in the background. And you're like, I say, uh, which which Twitch stream are we gonna watch tonight? Morg Pie or Amaranth? <laughs> I forget. There was somebody in commentary in the little commentary space a while That's ago. Right. That's right. And it was like two younger people, and they were <laughs> they they had like an OnlyFans or something. And their sex tape had leaked and they were like banging and there was a TV on in the background and it was like Hassan Piker or something playing <laughs> in, in the, in the background of their sex tape. And that's what I think about when I'm thinking about what I watch on Twitch and what me and my wife do. In you got daddy. I got, I got, I got Hassan up right. on the big screen TV. <laughs> Oh good. Yeah, yeah, dude. Everything I said about America was correct. You know, he's like, Yeah, that's right. I'm almost there. Oh. <laughs> good. All right. I can't. <laughs> it's getting really hot in here. No more. Uh... Yeah, he's going all Pat Bateman on it. You know. <laughs> no more of this. <laughs> no, no more of this this talk. Okay. <laughs> wow, Danny. Yeah. I went I've went too far. <laughs> I've went too far. Uh, here, let's get back. You're a Weasley little liar, dude. <laughs> let's get back to the to the uh, <laughs> the Easter shenanigans. Okay? For me, it's Joe Rogan. So that way, when I'm like, you know, <laughs> when I'm talking, I'm talking my big game. You hear Joe go, "Oh, why does it lie?" <laughs> this is a transphobic conversation. <laughs> oh, pull that up. Jimmy. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so here we go. This is something I wanted to ask you. Um, I don't frequent McDonald's that often. Do you ever go? Mm. You hit it. Like, is it an ever once in a while, a two weeks, a once a month? Uh, only when it really can't be avoided. Um, there was a time. I'm going to act like I'm, a, I'm above the old Mickey D's. Well, to be honest, I think I am now. <laughs> I think we all should be now. I mean, how many videos <laughs> do we need to see? of mcdonald's food just never degrading like it's <laughs> not natural it's not real you can sit it in a bag and watch it not mold for 30 days like that's going into your like why would i eat that when at least i know the other place down the block it takes only two weeks for that shit to rot you know at least i know something about that is actually made from this earth uh, no, I don't eat McDonald's unless I have no other choice at this point. Well, here we have. Uh, he has Grizzen. We've got the Grimace uh, coming out of the cave here. And actually, <laughs> isn't this isn't this like reverse? This is like Grimace. He's letting coming in. Yeah. Jesus out of the cave, right? He's like yeah. opening it up and be like, "Hey, wait, what are you doing in there?" Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering, did they do they do the uh, do they do the grimace shake for Easter? Is there an oh. Easter grimace shake? Do I bet? Yeah, that's why. Uh, I think that's actually the real reason Jesus disappeared for three days. He had one of those <laughs> fucking purple milkshakes. He was he was on the toilet. They couldn't find him for three days. This poor guy. <laughs> it was so chair. bad. He had to he he for the good of humanity. He. Uh, <laughs> He solitary confinement in a cave with a oh rock over God, the door. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! So there you go, grimace, a grimace shake for Easter. Uh, I feel like grimace has to be the best meme for McDonald's that they've ever had. I mean, they've never even leaned into like the. I feel like Ronald McDonald has, you know, good meme potential. They could do something there with that freak of nature character. But the only one that they've really, I feel like, touched the internet with virality is Grimace. Grimace mm. and that Grimace shake. I mean, people were making, there were fucking preteens making TikTok songs about it. 
and overdosing in the parking lot on it. Um, the Hamburglar should get his moment to shine, okay? I have a Hamburglar anecdote. Uh, when I was in high school, okay, the say, this is interesting that this gets brought back around. I would have never told these stories like this, but it's kind of funny how the clout route works. The same guy that does the ice cream soup, okay? Oh, living got, legend, yeah. He got an unfortunate nickname once we got to high school because uh, uh, his method, while we were going through the lunch line, okay, you know, you pay your 40 cents or your dollar 25 or your 250 or whatever for your lunch every day, and you get a hamburger and you get the fries and you get the chocolate milk, you know, maybe a little salad on your plate. But my buddy, Ice Cream Soup, would dump three, four, depends on what kind of pants he's wearing that day, hamburgers in his pockets, okay? They're in, when we, got to, Dynamite? when we got to high school, they were in foil, like a, like a, like a fast food. So he's fucking sticking as many hamburgers in his pockets as he can. And then he would get to the lunch table afterwards and it'd be like black market burgers. Okay. He'd be like, I give you, a, you give me a quarter. I give you this fucking hamburger or whatever. He passes out seven hamburgers and now he can go up to the, <laughs> to the Otis Spunkmeyer lady and get, you know, five chocolate chip cookies straight out of the easy bake oven or whatever. So this guy kind of did this. This guy did this enough black market hamburgers that we started calling him the Hamburglar. <laughs> oh my god! The Hamburglar, dude, dude. Oh, notorious for stealing a burger. <laughs> Hash and JoJo in the chat. What's up? Welcome, welcome. That is nuts. You know, um, <laughs> no, nah, that we didn't have any Hamburglars in my school. I, I that's uh, although I did go to college. With a kid who used to uh, put chicken sandwich patties in his pocket when we'd leave the cafeteria. But um, unfortunately, I was never, or maybe fortunately, I was never hungry enough to have to buy one of those off of him. But yeah, he would he would just like put some chicken tenders and wrap them up in a napkin and stick them in his pocket. Like we couldn't just walk back to the mess hall later to get food. Uh, I, yeah, I, you know, hey. I always own. thought that fucking a little pocket chicken. I always thought that Napoleon Dynamite was just freak of nature shit, and that nobody <laughs> no. actually, nobody actually did that. Nobody actually stuck tots in their pocket for later, right? Well, no, for real. It's like I, he opened the floodgates, is what it was. You know, Napoleon Dynamite was a leader in that He's respect. He was like, I'm just sticking raw fucking tots straight up in my pockets and then you know people started to get a little bit more creative and be like well i don't need to make my pockets all greasy and filled with ketchup i could just like stick a foiled hamburger in there maybe eight yeah you know because there's never any grease Better idea. off a hamburger that's in the <laughs> foil <laughs> mm. uh, well folks kevin did you look at the time like and subscribe for dried out pocket hamburgers, guys. <laughs> if you want more of those? Uh, it is going to have to give show. us a thumbs up. It's the end of the show. Give us a thumbs up for dry pocket hamburgers. Okay. Um, we're going to look back at chat, see what you guys had to say, and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Okay. It has been one hell of an Easter stream. That's right. Got to go you know, do some Hail Marys and stuff. I did a lot to upset God. In the I have to pray. Days, so. I definitely have to pray after this. And I have a lot of explaining to do if my wife caught any of the, uh, any of the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Danny's got to explain his Twitch search history. I'm less yeah. worried about the Twitch history and more worried about like that story about the plate and the Vietnamese lady and the, guy i knew for my last job yeah i'm more worried about that but well luckily you know you you weren't around in vietnam so she'll have to know that you weren't there for that part so that's good you know true i should i'll remind i'll remind her though reminder of that <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't there <laughs> 
It's trust me, babe. It's much more tame these days. Okay, instead of some Vietnamese lady pooping on a clear plate, it's just some pretty lady on Twitch sitting in a chair innocently. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just you know. Be glad those were the only kind of Vietnams. He could have told you a lot worse stories from Vietnam, <laughs> I promise. Uh, wasn't, wasn't there myself either, but... Yeah, my grandpa won't say anything that happened in Vietnam. Yeah, mo most people that have stories about Vietnam, I wouldn't even be in a room alone with, because, you know, if somebody drops something on the floor, it's, you know, game over for me. <laughs> it's a loud noise, and it's, you know, night-night. <laughs> Flashbacks are horrible. Uh, let's see chat here. So Pest, obviously, first in the chat, but we've got Headbug first. Okay. Sorry, Pest. Uh, then we've got Advent. He was here second and so angry about it that he decided to start an N-word tower in chat, so we banned him. Okay. Yep. Advent no longer around. Drake Sorry, jail. Advent. <laughs> no, he actually said N-E-X. T because he's next after first, or he just said NXT because he's a big fan of Shawn Michaels and uh the WWE over there. Okay, okay, I'm with that you. I'm with you. That one's for sleek and pest, they get my jokes. <laughs> blind Pasta says, Advent, how you doing? Nice to see you, Blind Pasta. Uh, let's see, let's see. Advent, Headbug, Blind Pasta, and Carla with the high. Nice to see you tonight, Carla. We love you. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we've got a shadow humor with a happy Easter. Do you have any kind words for shadow humor on this lovely uh, trans awareness day, Kevin? Yeah. Happy Easter to shadow <laughs> humor. And I can't wait to celebrate uh, bearded brothers day with you. I, he said I, next, I, he said next black history month. That's when we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We should, alternate. we should also, we'll do the bald guy thing during pride and then the beard guy thing during black history month. Yeah. Cause we deserve two on like Martin Luther King day too. Like dude, we on his birthday. deserve two months and a yeah. day. Actually. I work really hard guys. I drive a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> okay. You will uh, treat me with respect. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Harl says, yo, hanging with the fam. Have a great show. You know, honestly, I see why Harles was so uh, eager to exit stage right. Yeah. Because I was yeah, making family around. poop jokes when the family's around. They're like, yeah, yeah, get another plate of ham. Uh, that's not, no, he's not talking about somebody sitting on saran wrap and shitting on him. What was that? No, no, we're not talking about that. Uh, Vietnam. <laughs> Vietnam, blame it on them. Grandpa's like, Oh, what did they say on your phone there, Harls? I mean, no, he just hears the back half and he's like, Harls, what are your friends in Vietnam? Uh... <laughs> hey, you got stream hey. stre streamers on there that know about Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be God. I got to subscribe to that oh, clout route. Oh, damn. <laughs> back in my day, they call that the Saigon steamer. Do they have a Patreon? Should I go I to patreon.com slash the clout route and subscribe? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I really need to get to know those guys. You watch it on your little tiny screen there. Yeah, you can even subscribe for free if you want. There's videos <laughs> up there right now. You don't have to pay for them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. We got passed with the credit cards and the noses and the skiing. That's some drug reference, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've got Ryan with the fried eggs. We've got Sleek the Geek with the let's go. And we've got Only Mistakes with the drool. We know how that goes. You got your bite sized Vikes, Skull Vikes with the uh, Woo! big deep state hullabaloo. And howdy do. All the time. That. Like and subscribe to Bite Size Sports as well. Thank you, John, for hanging there out. You go. Love that. You know. Gotta get that cross promo. Sports. Uh, we've got Kangle up. Happy Easter, Kanga. Thank you for tuning That's right. in. Happy Easter, my friend. Uh, we've got old man Ryan. Red Dead 2 is so good. Of course. How old are you? Like 50, dude? Come on. Old enough to play. Damn. Start over a whole new Red Dead 2 playthrough. Oh God, dude. I'm going to wait a while to live stream it. It's cool again, so I have to wait until it's no longer relevant, and then I will start to live stream Makes it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, as I am scrolling through here, 
We've got Maggot Edits. Happy Easter, losers. Thank you, Maggot, for stopping in. I think this yeah, was thank you. the real Maggot Edits, okay? So, folks, we had a real Maggot Edits sighting in the chat. She even said, sup, admin, and thanks. So, I believe that the Maggot Edits that was just straight up Maggot Edits was the real, genuine article, okay? I really? think so. We had a real spotting, so. Okay. Shouts out to her. Shouts well, out shout to her. Out. Shout out to Maggot. I do want to say I was a uh, I was an active participant in the MAGA edits discord, but I realized mm. that I was in way too many discord servers, Kevin. Mm. And now we're down to a trim. What is it? Four. Ooh. A trim four. Two Dude, of them. If you're discords than I am, I'm kind of pissed right now. Two of them. How'd that I, happen? I don't even enter, Kevin. Okay. How about the fuck that? did that happen, dude? You're more Discordian than I am. How man. did I end up with the, being the dude who's in all the discords? <laughs> so, something I've been, I've been had. The what mm, you guys? Yeah. Damn it! I'm. You know what? This is all. I'm blaming this all on that. I think you need uh, that parking tigers hooligan who is no longer with us. I hear. Uh, is passed on. Rest in peace. But seriously, you kind of screwed me over on your way out, huh, bud? Damn it. It's your fault. It's your fault, Dis parking. Discordian Kevin, okay? God damn it. You're here for one it. Out. One out. Um, let's see. Let's see. And join our Discord, though. I love our Discord. You should join it. Ooh. It must not have been till way later that we got the fake. There we go. Fake mag MAGA edits. Bam. <laughs> People were being chaotic in chat tonight, man. Fake Matic Maga. I can't even say that. Fake Matic Mad blah, 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 blah. Fake. I know. I did just whatever you do, do not merge fake maggot. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fake maggot edits says ban fake maggot and then says, I'm the real one. I'm dating D Max. So they came with the facts. However, I think that that underscore there gives the game away. Okay. Mm. Which Sorry. is bullshit because uh, some of us have to add an underscore because uh, lesser Kevins have already stolen our Twitter <laughs> handle. So we have to add it. I love that. We've also got this. Maggie edits the real one comes in and says, bro, I would be mad if Putman doesn't have an alt of me. To be yeah, honest. where's my, uh, yeah. <laughs> they haven't made an alt account of you yet. Did you not see the... Uh... The uh, it's gone now. I think people reported it enough, I mm. guess, or something. But there was a fake clout route, and it was even like a clout route parody or something. It said, Yeah, so I thought this thing had staying power, but uh, I don't know. Josh must have felt too guilty. That's doing pretty a, cool, man. We got doing a clout route clout. alt, that's, that's pretty cool, you know. He was a couple seasons behind on the art, too. There. So I would suggest if you're really going to try to make a clout route <laughs> alt account. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nope. Nope. Not going to do it. Um, Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. That fucking fake MAGA edits had some things to say, too. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, did I miss some? It was a pretty busy chat. Chat was a... <laughs> Uh, You're putting in work today. Okay. Well, I think we've pretty much seen everybody. We say we shouted out. Uh, there's somebody. Oh, talking about somebody. Shadow Hunter in chat. <laughs> uh, we've got... inside you are two shadows. Wait, phrasing. Uh, never mind. Move on. Putman. Make sure we shout out Putman. Not only talk about his alts, but the the real deal was here too. Putman. Mm -hmm. Joshua Putman. Um, I said hi to your bite sized Vikes. That's right. We, we've got an unstoppable JoJo uh, Hello, spotting Joe. in chat. Uh, nice to see you, unstoppable JoJo. Sniffing Joe, you know, unsniffable JoJo, unsniffable JoJo. Hmm, not you can have that one if you want, <laughs> yeah, not, not trademarked. It would. It's different from Joe Biden, though. Jo Joe Biden is sniffable. Jojo, he encourages yeah. sniffs. That's what I'm saying. Our our friend Jojo is saying, "Hey, Joe Biden, I am unsniffable." Okay, Got you. you're. 
Oh, wait. What do we got an invite? Carla, Danny, and Kevin. Flatly is inviting you guys to Turd Island tonight. Oh, my wow. God. Thanks wow. for the invite. I don't know. What do you think, Kev? Are you uh, are you in staying power for that on a? Uh... I got I got one more drink left. You know, I could I could do a little bit. You know, look could do a little bit of time. No, I, Maybe. I, can't do, I can't do two and a half more hours. I can tell you that. But you know, sometimes they go to like three o'clock in the morning on that bitch. Well, God. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'll put up. Uh, I'll go on mute and just we can throw my avatar up there. I'd love the screen time. You know. <laughs> I'll say this, okay? <laughs> first, first I'll have to somehow make my way to the Flatly Turd Island Discord, which I could because he's in our Discord now, so maybe Ooh. we can do that. But uh, I don't know, folks, okay? It's really a thing. Turd Island is really a thing for me where it's past my bedtime, mm, okay? That's true. This is like, we're talking about, my bedtime is like 9.30, folks, Okay. And we're talking about this shit starts at nine and by nine 30, when I would be typically going to bed, they've got 12 motherfuckers from the internet shouting at the top of their lungs on one fucking <laughs> chat. Okay? Oh, when God. I'm trying to go to bed. Okay. <laughs> well, that sounds like a great stream. I'll just, I don't even have to do anything. Sounds like I'll just, they'll just fire up alive and I'll just be playing red dead two over here. And then just like, Oh Yeah. <laughs> Just mention me by name if you wanted me to say something. Uh, <laughs> and I'll just come in with the hot take. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. As I am scrolling here, do we have anyone left to shout out? Did we shout out Harles Barkley? Of course we did. Yeah, if not, that'd make us crazy. That would make me crazy. Only mistakes? He'd probably be crazy if we didn't shout out yeah. only mistakes. We have to, yeah. Um, Poland Spring was here as well. Don't forget that. Our executive producer did make an appearance. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's good, because otherwise it's not a paid appearance. Hash. Fashion, fashionably late. Yeah, Hash. Nice to see you, Hash. Happy Easter, my friend. Thank Let's you go. Hash with in. a big compliment here. Y'all are kind of becoming my background comfort noise. Danny, the day people tell us that hey i throw y'all in the background before i go to sleep that'll be uh that'll be the real win because that is some uh, view time for us that really helps so we love the fact that we are into your background all right i that makes me hey listen i've made about 400 different background noise songs so i genuinely i genuinely uh, uh appreciate being your background noise of choice we we that means a lot hash that's touching that's very touching but all right, folks, we won't uh, 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 cl cloud up your background. We won't uh, we won't uh, ruin your silence on this lovely Easter any longer. OK, we're going to get the fuck out of here. Thank you all for watching, subscribing, liking the Patreons, the bite sizes, the clout routes, all of it. OK, we love you and we will be back here Tuesday. On a Tuesday. And dare I say, Kevin, we will both be in the same room? On I think Tuesday? so. We might be. Yeah, I think so. I mean, Danny's probably going to get whatever plague that I have had for the last three <laughs> weeks. But, oh, well, dude. Yeah, I tried to save you, but you're screwed now. <laughs> yeah. So Kevin's going to come get me sick on Tuesday, and you guys will be all here to see it. Until then, take it sleazy. Happy Trans Easter Awareness April Fool's Day. Peace.